Hello and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV and welcome to our third craft along of today. We are certainly sort of bringing an awful lot of craft alongs across these two days, Wednesday and Thursday, three craft alongs both days, giving you a whopping six craft alongs that you can actually watch back at a later date and craft along or why not actually join in live and interactive and actually craft along alongside Debbie throughout the course of this two hour show. So two hour craft along this evening and the theme for this one is all about your fantastic ink pads. We're calling it Ink Pad 101 and we wanna make this a really interactive show. So any questions you've got about any of our ink pads, doesn't matter whether it's gonna be maybe our shimmer ink pads, our duet ink pads, our water reactive ink pads, any of our Spectrum Noir and Crafters Companion ink pads, any of those at all, if you've got any sort of worries or woes, get those questions in and we will do our very best to answer those throughout the course of this two hour show. I say we, it's the royal we. I'm not here on my own for the, throughout the course of this show. She's been here all day, she's been inspiring us with some of the most amazing craft alongs. We've had craft along at 11 o'clock, at three o'clock, and now we've not just got one craft along, we've actually got a triple whammy. I am super looking forward to this one. I'm actually going to craft along myself, which I'm very much <laughs> looking forward to. Very excited about that. But it is the wonderful, the one and only. It's our Debbie Robinson. Good Thank evening, Debbie. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to try to get through three. We'll just see. We've got two hours, and it is about those ink pads and having a little play with them. Um, we're going to focus on some water reactive ones. Now, before we start this one, which Lily's going to craft along with me, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you why they were designed and, um, and the reasoning behind it, because we're going to do a bit of distressing before we actually go into this. Um, by the way, I will just put this out there. Mm -hmm. Jamie has already laid claim to this card. Ooh. It's his mummy's birthday tomorrow. Oh. And um, talk about leaving it to the last minute, Jamie. Mm -hmm. But, but, <laughs> did you hear him, no. Lily? You saw this craft along coming up and he thought, yeah, I've got my mm -hmm. eye on that card. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Jamie's laid claim to this one. But yeah, we're gonna do uh, watercolor. Mm -hmm. uh, so water reactive, sorry. We've got, now, I love shimmer ink pads. Oh yeah. Uh, I love the originals, which have got that lovely pearlescent finish to them. Mm -hmm. um, we brought a gold series out. Oh, now did. I did a little. Um, it was like a little, a little. Do you know those little reels that we do? Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of response about this one, so I thought, do you know what? We're going to do this live during this craft along as okay. well. So that's with that gold shimmer running through, and you can see that beautiful mm, shimmer there uh, running through. So that's one that we're going to do as well. And then if we get time. We've all come to the opaque ink pads, which is why I've not put this on the shopping list. Mm -hmm. However, it doesn't matter. Um, and you can see with our opaque ink, ink pads, uh, why they're perfect for, um, because they're opaque, layering. Mm -hmm. So you can layer up with them. You can um, heat emboss, so you can see the centre of your flowers, heat emboss, including the strip. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually do a little bit of that technique as well, where you add clear embossing powder to as well. So... There is a few things on the shopping list, and we'll come to that just in a second, um, because I just want you to think what you've got in your crafty stash already. Now, if you haven't tried ink pads before, watch this show, and you'll see how easy they are to use and why we love them here at Crafters Companion, because they're absolutely incredible. They really are incredible. Each one does a different job, um, and I'll try and go through those as we, as we go across the entirety of the ink pads, and as much as we can get into this two hours, we're gonna try and cram as much as we can in. Um, but yes, absolutely, get your shopping list ready because I'm going to fire away with it right now what you're going to be needing if you are going to craft along with us. So for me in this, I've, I've put a few down there. So you can see the gold shimmer ink pads. I've used a couple of colours for that card that you've just seen. Cosmic purple and flame pink. Uh, the water reactives, I've used fuchsia, lemon tonic, parakeet and spring meadow. Um, I've also used a stencil because I'm going to show you a stenciling technique with the um, gold shimmer ones. Um, so that was why I put that into the uh, ingredients list. I've also used some mini dyes. Now this is just for sentiments um, because I just wanted to just throw a sentiment on there because we're going to make some backgrounds but show you what you can do. So I've used happy birthday and of course with love my favorite had to be done had to be done yep yeah, absolutely uh, the floral bouquet dye um, stamp set it's not a dye set oh it is it's a stamped <laughs> you know you'll have to excuse me it's been a while since we've had this one out but it's one of my go-to flower dye sets it does not matter if you haven't got it it does not matter you can use any of our flower uh, dye sets clear embossing powder is going to be the one that you're going to use if you are using our um opaque ink pads and again just a choice of colors with your opaque ink pads i'll run through the colors that i've used for my particular project additional ones that you're going to need you're going to need some multi-purpose cardstock black cardstock we've got actually do you know one thing that's missing off 
spare mm -hmm. is our watercolour cardstock because I've used some watercolour cardstock as oh. well. Jewel drops gems, those are optional. A, a Gemini cutting machine, that's optional because obviously it depends if you're going to put a sentiment on there. Heat tool a plus, a definite. Ink daubers, any of them. Fingers, square, circle, these spongy ones, anything will do for an ink dauber. Fine spray mitts there. Uh, Miss, I can never say it right, Mister, and all-purpose glue and a dotty tip pen. They're just some of the things that you're going to need. I will talk about the opaque as we go along because I didn't put those on there because I wasn't sure how much I'd get into the two hours, along with the questions, along mm -hmm. with the crafting, along with the craft along as well. But we'll do our very best to get through as much as we possibly can. Before I go into that first craft along, I am going to show you a little bit about the watercolor. Uh, sorry, the water reactive Debbie. That was this morning. Mm -hmm. Water reactive ink pads, and I'll do a very quick demonstration into why you need them and why you can mix your colour palette up as well. But we'll start that before we start the craft along. So, uh, Lily, I'm going to get ready for that, Perfect. and I'll, um, I'll I'll throw back to me when you're ready. Absolutely, I'm very much looking forward to this craft along. Like I say, I'll actually be joining in with one of those projects, and I'm so excited to see all these different techniques. Now, perhaps you're new to the world of stamping of inking. Maybe you've not even got any ink pads in your crafty stash yet. Well, this is certainly the show for you. It's not just about creating those finished projects. It's also about getting all of those questions in and getting them answered by Debbie. So if you've got any questions about ink pads, literally anything at all, doesn't matter how beginner or how advanced you are, any questions, no such thing as a silly question. So get those questions in throughout the course of this two hours and we shall get those answered. Now, before we start talking more about all things ink pads, we had a fantastic craft along this afternoon. Did you join us at three o'clock? Debbie created the most amazing scrapbook page and it was all about die cutting. So 3 p.m. show was that craft along on die cutting and it's been proving super, super popular today, our Gemini 2 die cutting machine. At the end of the day, we say it's the best a crafter can get when it comes to your die cutting. You have got that unrivaled pressure that we know and that we expect from our Gemini machines. But because it's our Gemini 2, we've sort of, we've built it up a little bit. We have upgraded that machine in terms of all those lovely, sleek, modern features. So you've got that new design when it comes to the actual housing of the machine. You've still got that edge-to-edge -edge A4 pressure for both die cutting and embossing. You've also got those optical sensors as well, which means uh, you can use all your different sizes of plates. It doesn't just have to be A4 plates, they can be your smaller plates as well, and you can pop them into that mouth at any orientation, and that machine will take them with absolute ease. You've also got your media stand, so maybe you're watching myself and Debbie now on Crafters TV with your little tablet propped up against that media stand. That is brilliant if you do watch uh, anything on your tablet while you're crafting. You've also got those USB ports, which are super useful, and you've actually got lots of inbuilt storage within that machine great for storing small items like your pokey tools your scissors or little bits that you're working on while you're crafting it's an absolutely incredible machine you've seen it throughout the shows today and you see it literally day in day out here at crafters tv it is an absolute workhorse for us here in the studio but it'll be exactly the same for you guys at home as well and today we've got it on the best ever price we have ever brought this machine to you at £159.99 or $239.99 is your price. Get this incredible machine home. And it's not just about the machine because we actually include all the plates you need as well. So all your cutting plates, all the plates that when you're cutting dies, embossing dies, embossing folders, stenciling, there is all of those plates included in the box, which is absolutely incredible. So you can literally get straight crafting straight away when you get that gorgeous machine home. Now that was a little bit about die cutting because I just wanted to uh, sort of share that one with you because it's proving super popular today. But now let's jump into all things ink pads. So ink pad 101, and like we say, we're going to be bringing to you lots of different ink pads throughout the course of this two hour craft along. But first off, I want to bring a little bit of shimmer to your day. Let's bring a little bit of shimmer to this Thursday evening. I think we all need it given the weather's not so nice outside at the moment. And these are our amazing original shimmer ink pads. You're getting seven of these in total for £24 or $32. And these are our original ones that, that launched in birthday last year, literally took the world by storm. They sold out in the first week and we have got them back because quite frankly, we need them in our crafty stashes. As I tilt this board, you can see the incredible pearlescence you've got with each and every single one of those beautiful colorways. It's almost like being able to create your own Centura pearl cardstock. That shimmer and shine is just amazing. I know Debbie will be sharing lots of techniques with these with you, but just to sort of get you kick started, you can actually blend with these. You can layer with these, you can take your embossed designs, 
blend up the top. You can even stamp and heat emboss with these as well. They are incredible ink pads, but just beautiful because you've got all that shine, all that pearlescence, and it runs all the way through the ink pad. It's not like pap shimmer ink pads we've seen in the past or pearl ink pads in the past that have almost like a layer of pearl at the top. And then as you start using the ink pad and go down that ink pad, it's just color and there's not an awful lot of shine. These are the total opposite. It's pearl all the way through that ink pad and they're super juicy so they'll last an awfully long time as well. And also the design of the actual ink pads themselves is ergonomic so it's nice and easy to hold in your hand. You've got that larger area at the top there for wider applications and for those more detailed areas you have got that fine point at the other end as well. Absolutely fantastic ink pads, seven of those in total for £24 or $32. Now she said she wanted to start off with a swatch and a little bit of education and that's exactly what our Debbie is going to share with us now. Absolutely, so before we move on to that first card we talk about the water reactive inks. Now as it says and the tin because it literally is mm -hmm. i'm just going to put one in front of you um it reacts with water so this is our water reactive dye it's perfect for blending and distressing when we talk about distressing we're on about distressing edges of pages edges of cards but of course the blending part for me is what i love about these now i've chosen some really bright colors we do have a selection of water reactive on the show but i've gone with some really really bright colors to show you that blendability um and i've got some of our our, um, ink daubers as well so I'm going to literally take my ink dauber go into my ink pad now you'll see some of us we put onto the we pop a little bit onto there and when we pick it up there as well you can do that if you want but I'm a I'm a straight in there girl get in that ink pad and then load up as much as you can onto your ink applicator and there is no running up Lily will, Lily will vouch for me when I talk about this mm -hmm. there's no going up to the edge of your cardstock you go straight on and lay that down now I am using water reactive on this particular one but I am going to show you as well that you can use multi-purpose cardstock as well go straight into that oh that's a good shot Jamie wow oh, yeah, that was like very that. close Woof. my goodness me um so I'm going to just pop a bit of the um lemon tonic down I'm going to come in with my um orange one so let's just switch out one of my ink pads I thought I got my orange ready clearly I hadn't okay. um I'm going to come in and I'm going to add and load up a bit of orange onto there as well now water reactive will react to moisture mm -hmm. and hot fingers juicy fi i said juicy fingers juicy that sound fingers right, doesn't that doesn't sound quite right does it well i don't know what I mean. heat from your fingers juicy moisture fingers. From your fingers um i think i'll just move on and uh, <laughs> give yourself a piece of kitchen roll and <laughs> just come straight in and hold that over your project now you can blend between the two straight away and you can see the movement between the orange to the yellow um, I don't want you to worry about a single thing when it comes to it because if you find that it's a bit harsh you mm -hmm. can go back in with your lemon and mm -hmm. you can blend over the top so you get a really nice smooth transition between the two mm -hmm. now these do stay they're not instantly dried these they're on a felt pad um, and they're still quite juicy despite, mm -hmm. despite it being a felt pad they're quite juicy and they do don't, they don't dry straight away so it does mean that they left wetter a little bit longer mm -hmm. which you may hear some of us talk about it I personally don't use it for this this part but you can add things like your clear embossing powder but we've got ink pads that work for that so mm -hmm. I, I keep them to that ink pad but there's nothing to stop you from absolutely doing that if that's what you want to do um, that's that's the lovely thing about these ink pads there's so much you can do with them and i do love to go straight in and whack down color notice i'm not doing this mm -hmm. up to the cardstock i'm going straight into there and like i said if you're not happy with that little bit of transition you just go back over to get that smooth blend running through the two mm -hmm. now shall we throw another color in there shall Ooh. we go in with a bit of hot pink <gasps> yes let's go in with our fuchsia Back to the fuchsia. Oh, I knew it. I had it. to get in I there. I knew it, I knew it. Oh, sorry. I just knew somebody was going to do it. Channeling your Ben Mosby I know, there. yeah, you would have thought. Ben <laughs> just walked in the studio. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Now, when you come in between such a stark, bright colour to a, a, a more paler colour, mm -hmm. um, again, all you'll do is take it in as far as you can with the colour, but then get your lighter colour or your other colour that's underlaying and just blend and you'll create a nice little ombre of a different color there so it's almost going orange that one into it between the two um now i'm gonna add a little bit of pink just down here debbie remember where your brushes are mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna come in 
and just add some more into there and again I'm not running into it I'm just going straight on and blending between the two and you get all these different shades coming through um should we put a bit of spring meadow in there oh yeah let's why find not? a bit of spring meadow why not so let's load up some of that gorgeous spring meadow and pop that in between again those two colors and whenever you want to use this and you want to go back in and get that blend just go back in with the other color and blend it out and you get a really smooth transition now if you're worrying about like little marks oh i mean say little mm -hmm. that's tiny um i'm not going to worry too much because i'm going to get my next brush i'm going to go in again with that um spring meadow and come in and put that through the center part again you can add more to this if you want to add a little bit more go back in but take it across and smooth out any harsh lines that you have and that is the beautifulness beautifulness is that the right word it's now beautiful it is now beautiful mm -hmm. um transition between um all of those colors wow. and if you if you're ever worried about any harshness just go back in with that color that you've had and blend it through until it literally and this is why they're beautiful for blending mm. the other beautiful thing though lily oh yeah i'm just gonna move these to one side i'll cover them back up because i am going to use some of these colors for our first card that we're doing in this craft along because i am conscious it's a craft along mm -hmm. um let's put all those back there do you know we're going to use parakeets i'll use a little bit let me go Ooh, let me go let on. me go in and add a little bit more just just bear with me a minute while i have a little play because uh, oh, i do love a bit of that parakeet yeah. but i'm going over that lemon tonic because i haven't got much space but i just like to add a little bit of another mm. dimension of a color over the top and again you can see all these colors don't be afraid don't be afraid to mix anything mm. now the beautiful thing about this is that's gorgeous you could die cut into that use that as a background but of course water reactive means exactly Ooh. that i've taken a little thin brush i'm just going to do what we call that full bleaching technique and show you why i love love these drop as much as you want flick it with your fingers spritz it with your spritzers a spritzer will give a fine mist Dropping it with your fingers, you can get more bigger drops. Mm -hmm. Ticking it with your brush and putting as much water on as you want, you can control that um, type. You can tap it with a, um, I know Corinne does it, she taps it with the poke tool over the top. Oh, yeah. I don't, I just flick it. I just give yep. it a good old flick. I'm exactly the same, Debbie, I, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, just get in there, straight in there. Now, I can see it already reacting the water. So when I put my tissue over to the top, look mm -hmm. at Jamie going in close. Whoa, look at you. Mm. He's I on it know. tonight. Pop your tissue over the top, yep. give it a little smoothness over the top, lift off, <gasps> and wow. you have that beautiful reactiveness with the water. Mm -mm. Now, with the duet ink pads, and I know they're not on the show today, but with the duet ink pads, you get more of a white, white cone underneath. Uh -huh. What I love about the water reactive is, is that you've got a underbelly colour running mm. through there. Although we've full, full bleached it, um, it's not pure white, but it's stripped back. It's almost soaked up, that water soaked up that ink, and then obviously t uh, transferring into your tissue. And I absolutely love that. And that is a beautiful background, a beautiful background, ready to go. However, you can paint with these, oh, wow. drop a little bit onto your glass mat, you can do the smushing technique, which is what actually we're going to do for this first craft along project. But before we do, I'm going to have a little clean up, get your cardstock ready. We're going to make our card base, make our mats and layers, and then we're going to do a little bit of that smushing. Are you ready, Lily? Oh, I'm ready. I'm very much looking forward to this one. But before we get into that craft along, I want to share the details of you with our water reactive selection. You're getting seven different ink pads as part of this collection. For your Platinum Club price today of £24 or $32. And these are the sorts of ink pads that Debbie has just been showing us exactly how they work. So they're the water-based ink pads. You can react them with water to get those incredible effects like Debbie's just shown us. They blend beautifully. You've seen that in action right now. But here are the colourways that you're going to get as part of this seven-piece collection. So first up, we have got our Smoked Emerald. Then we move on to our Oasis. Spring Meadow, that gorgeous pale green, that bright green that uh, Debbie's just used. We have got green topaz. We've also got spa blue, which is like a grey, uh, bluey sort of tone. And then finally, we've also got our anthracite. So it's all seven of those ink pads for your Platinum Club price today of £24 or $32. A great starter set. If you've never used any of our water reactive inks before, that is a great one to get started with and start actually doing those amazing water reactive techniques. 
Now I have to sneak this one in before we actually get on with the craft along because this has proved so, so popular today. Of course, we did have that 11 a.m. craft along this morning, which was all about your watercolor technique. And these, oh my goodness me, these are absolutely gorgeous. If you want the most beautiful watercolor paints with an incredible pearlescent sheen to them, I mean, as I tilt that board, look at that, wow. Absolutely incredible. These are amazing. These are your Sunbeam Shimmer Watercolour Palettes. So you get the full palette of all of those gorgeous watercolour paints contained within that easy uh, portable palette that you've got there. But you've got all of those colourways that you can see on the board there. You're getting 24 individual colours, right the way from your really dark blacks, all the way down to your jasmine, which is basically just like a pearl paint, which is gorgeous. Dilute them with water and of course you'll get all the shades of each and every single one of those colours all 24 within that palette for $17.99 or $21.59. And with these being our sunbeam colours, those are the ones that mean uh, they work best on your paler colours of cardstock. So if you're going for your white card, your cream card, your ivory card, these are the ones to go for and they show best on those paler colours of cardstock. Absolute gorgeous pearl essence sheen that you've got each, on each and every single one of those 24 colourways. Amazing. Get those added to your baskets. You're saving 10% and get them checked out because they are proving very popular and they are going fast. Details on your screen, going fast. There you go. If it's on the screen, it must be true. So make sure you snap those up while you still can because those are going to give you the most amazing watercoloured effects. Now, I think it might be time to get into the craft along with Debbie. We just got a quick question before we start. It just on the last demonstration that you showed us, Debbie. Uh, what colours of inks were you using, please? That's I use me. Spring Meadow, yeah. Lemon Tonic, um, Orange, yeah. uh, Parakeet and Fuchsia. They were the ones that I used in that. Bright, beautiful and blendable because that's the thing. And this is the thing. You could mix... In our, our water reactives, we do a light tone of a colour. So they come in colour families. So, for example, Straw Bale, Lemon Tonic, and honey pot are the the yellow what we call the yellows mm -hmm. the light the medium and the dark I personally like to use brights in one and lights in one and darks in the other if I'm mm -hmm. doing it that way however the beautiful oh. thing about these ink pads doesn't matter you could mix a, a straw bale with a smoked emerald which is one of the darker shades mm -hmm. you could you could literally take any of those colors and blend them the thing about these what i love what leanne created with the spectrum noir team was a beautiful ink pad that blends beautifully together and it's it's exactly what it says on the tin mm. you've got the little distress but uh, what we call the ink dauber on the front you know that they're going to be perfect for blending instantly because that picture's there they're water reactive it states that on the front which means they react to water um and lots of things that you can do with them in t I mean, I could spend two hours just on the water mm -hmm. reactives on their own, but I wanted to try and cram as much as I could into these two hours. Um, are you ready to create your card base? I'm ready. Keeping it, uh, when I say I'm keeping it simple, I am keeping this really simple. I want, want the techniques to show off the ink pads, not the other way around, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not doing any singing, no dancing cards, we're just doing some nice straightforward cards. And the first card I'm going to do, and I have kind of tweaked it a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger than five by seven it's going to be a five and a half by seven and a half base so we need our multi-purpose cardstock to 11 inches by seven and a half inches so you can use your paper trimmers your guillotines um, whatever it is that you want to use to create that card base because that's the size when we fold this in half and I will just tell you we have got <laughs> I love that little bit, Jamie. I've, I've, got, to, I've got to give you guys at home a little caveat. <laughs> I am crafting along for this one. So if you hear a, a choppy noise, don't panic. It's me using my guillotine because I'm going to be crafting along with Debbie for this particular project. I thought I'd choose one out of the three. So do you know what? I love the funky, vibrant colours on this one. So I thought, let's, let's craft along for this particular craft along. So any funny noises, it's me and the guillotine. So don't Bless you worry. So you're going to get your scoreboard next and we're going to take it on the long side and we're going to score this down at five and a half inches. So your 11 inches in half is your five and a half and that's why I did that extra half bit. The beautiful thing about all of our cards, no matter what size you do, you can make an envelope to fit most cards, uh, most standard size cards. And five and a half by seven, we've just got that uh, seven and a half, is that little bit extra than a five by seven. Mm -hmm. But why not? Let's have a play. 
Let's we can do. We're in control of it ourselves. Now, mats and layers, this is a five and a half by seven and a half base. Mm -hmm. I've come down a quarter of an inch. Yep. So I'm going to have a matte black cardstock base first. Um, bearing in mind, I'll show you that card again in a second. But I'm just going to give you um, time to be able to catch up with this one. We're going to take that down to um five not five and a half because that's the base we're going to take it down to five inches by seven inches and that will create that perfect uh, oh actually it'll create a nice big one because i've gone down did i say i've gone down off lily yeah that, I did, did five, yeah five that's by seven not like me hey repeat five by seven so no we're going to do five sorry lily five we're going to do five and a quarter i like to come down a quarter of an inch me too who do you know Oh. Nearly then, well, Lily, nearly. Well, look, you're saying it's a very simple card, then next thing you know. <laughs> and I'm, I am now having to redo my mat and there because the, oh, they no. didn't give the right instructions there. What a great start to the graph Oh, along. dear. Uh, yeah, five and a quarter. <laughs> Do you? By seven and a quarter. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> So that I'm getting that perfect, what I call or what I consider to be a nice frame, which is a quarter mm. of an inch. However... Shall we just finish that one off by doing that and showing you? It mm. doesn't matter with your mats and layers, and I'm just going to make sure I've got that right because I said I'd come down half an inch, didn't I? You did. It just means you get a bigger border. Yeah. And there's no right or wrong way. Absolutely. So it's entirely up to you. Okay, so that is a five and a half by seven and a half base. This one is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we Our go. Our swooshing, smooshing technique that we're going to do with the inks. Mm -hmm. We're going to use multi-purpose cardstock. Oh, okay. Oh, Why I not? know. I like, Why to mix, not, I, like, I like to mix it up a little bit. Um, we are going to do a matte base of, because I like a little bit of white to break this up. And I'm just going to bring this card in a second just to show you. A uh, black matte base and a white matte base, and then we'll come down to these in a second. So, obviously, this is um, now going to be five by seven, Lily. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's it's the pressure right. of another craft expert in here, <gasps> crafting along with me. I'm worried myself. I don't know about you. I'm thinking I can't mess this up. I've got to get this right. <laughs> so, you can at this point get those down. That's a nice matte and layer frame, uh, mm. and you can stick those down if you want to do this. Now, um, and I will just tell you, this next bit is entirely up to you. If you want to take this down a little bit more, and I think if I remember rightly, because Debbie has now misplaced her instructions for these cards, uh -oh. um, my base is six and a quarter, and I've got my ruler at the side of me. Um, I nearly called you Becky then. Oh, hey. Yeah. You're getting your new name. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, okay, four well. and a quarter by six and a quarter in the matte black. Okay? Actually, I'll be able to bring this back in, won't I? I'll be able to use that one. Yeah, I will. Ooh. That's why I did it, Lily. Six All and makes a quarter. Sense. <laughs> Sorry, I've wasted nothing now. Uh, by four and a quarter. Jamie, part of the process, he says. Uh, because the white cardstock is going to be six by four. Ah. Uh, yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's why I've just gone up that little bit of a quarter. And I know it can sometimes get confusing, but I don't want anybody whittling about it because you can make your own... Um, you can make your own base size. I'm Absolutely. just giving you a little bit um, of how I've done my card so that you can see the process that I've done. Absolutely. So six by four fits onto the six and a quarter by four and a quarter black base, which will then sit into our card. But this is the bit we're going to colour. Okay. However, Ooh. however, we have got some nice little strips in here. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, little faux pas I had. Oh, no. So when I made this, I made it when because I made it five by seven the last time that I did one of these cards, and um, I forgot I'd made it bigger. Oh. Um, so my little strips ended up being a little bit short, hence why there are two strips on this side. Really? Um, honestly, Lily, I tell you, sometimes I wonder what goes off in this oh, head. Oh, bless uh, you. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, right, so this, this width of it is down to you now, the size that you want to create. Now, I'm just going to bring in my ruler so I can show you. The actual cardstock where the colour is, is half an inch. And I've taken it to the full width of the card, so we know the full width of this card is five and a half. Mm -hmm. So the strip of white will be five and a half by half an inch, and you're going to do that three times, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's just for your, 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 you know, your pieces of card. Debbie is going to make sure she does not chop into that. Let me move that out of the way, because I know what I'm like, Lily. Uh-oh. Um, so half an inch strip, 
yeah. line it up onto your um, guillotine or your pip. Debbie, which way are you going, girl? There you are. Half an inch strip. Yeah. It's because I've got I'm using <coughs> paper trimmer. Oh. I'm so used to using guillotine. See, I'm using it. I've commandeered the guillotine here. <laughs> do like me guillotine, I have to say. I know you do. So again, yeah. you can just cut those out. Now we're going to cut three of those. I'm just bearing in mind. Let's get this the right way. So I am going to let me make sure I've got this right. So five and a half is the width. Yeah. Sorry, Lily. Length. I'm so just I'm twittering to myself. It's all right. Here. So five and a half by half an inch, and then we're yeah. doing three of those. And you want three of those? Three yeah. Of them. Okay. So Sounds we're going to do one. Any of you guys crafting along at home, let us know in the comments if you're recreating this card now or maybe you're saving this craft along to uh, watch back and actually make at a later date. We'd love to know either way. Any questions as well, keep those fired in uh, and we'll get those across to Debbie as well uh, across the course of this two hour show. It's all about ink pads. So any sort of ink pad question, it doesn't just have to be on these water reactive ink pads that we're focusing on for this first craft along. Uh, it can be any of those ink pads that we do here uh, at um, Crafters Companion. Now, I've got the pieces that I'm needing. So the six by four and the three strips, these are the bits that are going to be inked up. Okay, yep. Now, I do this in stages, so I don't do this all lots of inks down here and then smudge it. I do uh -huh. it in separate stages. So I'm going to put those there for a second. And I'm going to bring in, first of all, let's bring in, let's bring in a bit of lemon. So if I just put that there, a bit of lemon. Onto your glass mat, or you've got a craft mat, and you get a different mm -hmm. effect with a craft mat, Lily. So yours might look put completely different to mine. Okay. Uh, which I like. So there's choices that you've got here. Absolutely. Make sure you've got a nice bit covered. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just make sure I've got quite a nice bit covered. Now I know you've got some different colours, Lily, that you're yeah. using. So does it matter? Do I have to do the lightest nope. first, or any nope. anyone at all? If it just depends what you want. What you want. Do you, do you want? Oh. Um, I I do. I I will be totally honest. When uh -huh. I'm doing this kind of technique, I do start with the lighter and work up to the dark. Okay. That's my personal preference mm, but I'll there's no then. right or wrong way because all we're doing is we're picking up ink mm -hmm. from a glass mat or a craft mat so okay. it doesn't really matter because you can position it where you want to go with it um spritz your water i make sure mine's a nice because when you use it on a glass mat mm -hmm. it actually puddles on a glass mat yeah on a craft mat it like little bubbles and uh -huh. you'll see it on yep. yours can you see where it yep. like bubbles i, I wish we so. could show it because i know we haven't got overhead over there yeah. um so you get two different kinds of techniques when you do this now all you're going to do is take your cardstock and uh -huh. you're just going to take areas yep. that you want that particular color in okay. now my first card that i made today will not look like this one when it's finished no no way and i'm going to make sure i'm also i'm going to just put a little bit down there because i'm going to mix loads of different colors in here oh. so i'm just going to add a couple into the, the little strips yeah and pick this up now you've seen me do a bit of blending this is just another thing that you can do with your inks that you have mm -hmm. um in your stash and i will tell you all of oh, them yeah. are water-based oh, okay. with the exception of a in fact there isn't an exception because even the metallics are water-based ah yeah they are. so you could technically do this with any ink pads Ooh, that you've got oh yeah now i'm just going to wipe that up lily have now I normally wipes? i wouldn't Ooh, i would get I've some excess cardstock um, now, I will tell you, you need a little blast with your heat tool at this stage. So I'm going to heat tool and just give this a little blast. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take long. It really is a matter of seconds when you're heat, to uh, heat tooling. Heat tooling, so where now? It is now. Do you know, I keep thinking it's a Friday after... I, I keep thinking it's Friday oh evening dear. tonight. Oh dear, indeed. Oh, honestly. Jamie, is it your last day, Jamie? On your shift? Is it yours as well, Dean? Wee wee. Wee wee. It is indeed. Uh, now, that's dried off. Uh -huh. And I'm going to now pick the next colour that I'm going to put down. Uh -huh. So I've used um, lemon tonic. I'm going to push that to one side. I think I'm going to come in with spring meadow. Oh, yeah. Because between the three that I'm choosing to use, actually, I'm going to use some parakeet in this. Oh, nice. um, I'm going to do this way. So I'm going to go to those lighter tones. Bit of a toss up between which is the lightest between there, pink mm. or orange, I think. Oh. That's the way around I'm going to do it. So, with the cardstock again, bit down onto your glass mat. Yeah. You can tell this one's drying up a little bit. Oh. There we go, get that down. And do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Now, at the minute, you're probably thinking, that looks like lemon tonic, Debbie. It does. Um, it's not. It's Spring Meadow. Mm -hmm. Just thought I'd check there, because <laughs> even my eyes were going, is that Are the you same sure? colour? Yeah. Is that the same colour? 
Um, but it doesn't matter because you can see the green there. And oh, again, yeah. it doesn't really matter where you pop this. Just pick it down. Let the mat smush it up. Um, smush. I do love that word, Debbie. It's smush. a lovely name. Lovely really sound is. technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, literally, let that card start. Pick it all up. If you want to add a bit more water, what you uh -huh. mustn't do is take that and go into there. Uh-huh. Because there's water on there. Of and it'll interfere with your ink pad. Uh -huh. Do not, do not ever take a paintbrush into there or spritz into there. Please, please, please do not do that. If you want to add a bit more, just add it into a different area. And, again, spritz. Another um, word that I love, spritz. Up. Do you like spritz as well? Spritz, yeah, it's a nice word that I think. Spritz, spritz, spritz. So again, this is all we're doing. We're just picking up excess ink. And we're going to create a nice little, a nice little card from it. We're not much else actually using into it really, no. to be honest, Lily. Again, I'm just going to dry in between those stages, mm -hmm. a quick blast of the heat tool. Have you got a heat tool over there, Lily? I don't, but mine is drying pretty quick, I have to say. Well, it is warm uh, under here, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm just it, thinking, so if it, if it wasn't perfectly dry, you'd probably get, um, the colours would muddy a little bit. Uh, it, so you do sort of want to get it dry if you can, but even without me drying that first layer, you can see uh, mine's starting to take shape. But it's not muddying too much. Like I say, it did dry pretty quick with me not having an awful lot of water on there. I'm going, of course, for uh, purples, blues. Uh, those sorts of colour tones for mine. So just showing you a different sort of colour way that you can do with this same technique. Absolutely. Next colour. Absolutely. Take me next colour, a bit of orange. Mm -hmm. Little spritz. Let's go in. Little spritz of water again. And just pick up. Now, again, because I have let it, allowed it to dry in between as well, you do get a really nice effect. Mm -hmm. And um, it depends how much you want to lay it down there. You can already see it coming together. It looks really effective. Mm, it I mean, it's a very simple technique. Oh, yeah. There's not a lot of thought process into this. You could be um, getting uh, maybe the kids or grandkids involved oh, with this. Oh, do you know, I Safi, I've, I've rung her in between my break. I was in the green room in between mm. his break. Um, and I rang her, she's busy colouring away. That girl oh. is so talented. Um, and I, I said to her, I think it's time you come into Nanan's craft room and oh, come and yeah. create it with Nanan. Because I think it seriously, is. she's absolutely fabulous. I love her, I love her to bit. She's so creative. Do you know, I actually, do you know what, Jamie? Yeah, oh, get yeah. her on a craft along. Yes. Because the girl just wants to sit and colour oh, and draw that's fab. and write. If that, that's, do you know, that's her favourite thing to do. Oh. She seems, and she just goes, do you know what she does, Lily? She goes and takes herself off into the kitchen, sits at the kitchen table, gets all the crew, because her mummy lets her have them on table in her like oh, little bags and, yeah. and, you know, pencil case. And she, um, she's in a happy place. An absolute, uh, like a nana. Yeah, happy place absolutely. crafting. Uh, come in with fuchsia. So let's go in with a bit of fuchsia. I've done the joke already, I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> I have to make sure I do it at least once on every show, but uh, no, nah, we've, done, we've done it already. <laughs> so we're not doing it again? No. <laughs> I'm going for, my next colour is Lagoon, so something a little bit different for mine. Oh, I'm liking uh, yeah. your choices, so Lily. I love different. the choice in colour. Yeah, That's the lovely like thing, that. though, about it. You can absolutely, and like I said, no two cards of what you'll do with this will be the same. Mm. They will all be different. Yeah, all absolutely. of them will be different because to try and pick up ink in the same spot in the same place every single time it Good ain't luck. gonna but happen no of course it's not it's not gonna happen you know anybody who's been crafting for years will tell you you just you're just not gonna be able to no. create that and again i'm just gonna wipe that little bit up mm -hmm. Can you see how beautiful and vivid these oh, colours are? Gorgeous, We've got they? a lot of ink pads on the, you know, on the website. We do. We've got a nice little bundle on the show today, so you could try that if you wanted. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to go, because it's 36 altogether in the water reactives, and if you don't want to go to that length of getting all those, that's abs that's absolutely fair. Jamie, yes, we do. We yes, do. We do. To be it fair, once you've played with these, you will absolutely, absolutely want to. Mm -hmm. um, You'll want all of them. Oh, you, you will. will. You'll want all of them. We've I had can a promise. question in actually from Lynn Morton, and honestly, it's the easiest answer ever, Lynn, I have to say. She says, uh, I'd like to know if water reactive ink pads are hard to work with. We nope. can say it in unison. No. No. The old literally so easy. I mean, look at this. I'm literally stood here with a mat, with an ink pad, smooshing that ink out onto my mat and spritzing it and picking it up that colour, and we are getting the most fabulous results. They are literally super ridiculously easy to work with so Lynn don't worry about them at all they are genuinely very very easy and I'll tell you you will get a different effect with a craft mat to a glass mat absolutely I don't care what anybody tells you you, you will um, it's a different I, surface of course you can yeah have. absolutely uh, you can already start to see that coming together um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more water just onto here for my little strips and again just dab in 
um, certain areas. It doesn't matter if you drop it in a little bit or a lot or pick up little pieces. Um, I know it's very warm in here, so I can tell some of these are drying out. But that's, that's just because of the hot studios that we're in at the minute. Uh, but again, look really fabulous. And um, laying down lots of colour in between them. Love those. I'm actually quite happy oh, with those. Oh, yeah, Debbie, I love the colours you've used. So vibrant. Beautiful. I honestly, I, that's, well, you know me, Lily. Yeah, love your bright colours. I love your bright colours. Um, but yeah, you can you can absolutely just play around and you can have more if you want to add. Now, all I will tell you is obviously some of the inks when they're blended together create another colour. Okay. Uh, which is fine. And you can water them down as well. So a little bit of tissue. If you don't want to have them so vivid, you can damp them off with a bit of a tissue and you are absolutely fine with that as well. You can you can do that too. Now, we already saw I mean that is just <laughs> Oh, that's I love those colours, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of a, a different type of faux bleaching because okay. I've got myself a stencil. Right. Now you could do what you've just seen me do um, or you can take a stencil. This is where your stencils come in to effect. Now mm -hmm. I know over there, I don't know if you've got a stencil Lily. but it, Have you got one I could pinch by any chance? Um, a different design? You could take one of the other ones if you want to take one of the yeah. other ones that I've got. Choose um, me one. Do you want that one, the teardrop oh, one? Oh, go on, yeah. It's I'll need that back for the next bit of me stage of the other card. Well done. But that's absolutely fine. I love this when you do this. You could do this with the Duet ink pads. Mm -hmm. You could do it with the water-reacted ones. Um, and all you're going to do is place your stencil, and I am not, I repeat, not being precious where I'm putting it. Okay. And you can, of course, at this stage, add a little bit of the um, stick and spray, which is the yeah. repositional, if you want to. I personally don't. I don't, okay. um, because what I want to do is just spritz some water mm -hmm. through the stencil right. and I like the randomness that this does. Oh, yeah. Now, you do need a tissue at the side of you, so let me grab my tissue, clean piece, not the dirty one, Debbie, uh -huh. um, and spritz your water. I'm just hoping I've got enough water through there. Spritz your water through your stencil. Okay. You may have seen me do this with the Duet ink pads because I love that technique. Mm, However. You can do it with this one as well. Now I'm holding it into place, letting yep. the water soak up the colour. And I, you're probably thinking, but Debbie, you've just done all those gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Why on earth would you take and strip back any of those beautiful colours that you've put down? You don't have to if you don't want to. But what you get with this is a really nice... Oh, wow. I mean, it looks... That is gorgeous, honestly, Debbie. it's just worth doing it. Now, I can see a few puddles there. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to dry them. Debbie, shall I tell you what yours reminds me of? You know the bouquet effect? The bo that? The bouquet technique. Bo am I saying it right? The bouquet. Bouquet, that yes. one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, it reminds me of that. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I like it. Do you know I haven't done that technique for ages, Lily? No, I haven't either. I was watching somebody do it the other night. And I thought, oh my goodness me, I need to, need to uh, do this again. But it's a fab now, technique. Now, I like that. I think that looks quite, quite good. Now, yeah, I know I it's multi-purpose cardstock, and I know I tell you that on Water Reactive, you should be using, for premium results, watercolour cardstock. Mm -hmm. You'll get that sort of effect on watercolour cardstock. Um, but multi-purpose cardstock is exactly that. It's multi-purpose. Oh, yeah. Um, and I love that technique. Now, I'm going to do it with me, um, with me little ones as well. OK. I'm just going to lay that over the top. I'm actually going to take off that little bit of ink that's under there, because I think that might spoil it if I'm not careful. Um, and do it again, spritz through. Absolutely. Love this technique. You could be using any of your stencils for this. I know we've got yeah. lots of different options over on the website. If you're wanting to pick up some of your stencils today, then absolutely check out that website, because I believe there's some in the January sale, actually, if we've still got them in stock. Why do I know that? Because I bought myself. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Have you shopping. been on that website again? I'll, I'll I keep honest, telling Debbie, you. I haven't this week. I did last week, uh, but this week, not, not yet, but uh, it's only Thursday, so you know. <laughs> Jamie's uh, joking that apparently we need to restrict my access to the website. Jamie, I'd, always, I'd still find a way, you know what I'm like. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. The amount of uh, orders I had last week, blinding me. I'm still uh, lugging them home. Oh, what dear. are you like? I, I know, honestly. <laughs> Me and my paper pads, you know what I'm like for paper pads, Debbie. I know, I am exactly, I'm not kidding, exactly the same. So now what you've got is a really nice, atmospheric, bright, um, splishy, splashy technique, whatever you want to call it. But make your own car make your own backgrounds. This is Absolutely. the thing about these ink pads. You've seen how lovely this blends. 
and it does look beautiful when it blends it does. Um, and there's pretty much similar colors the exception to the rule there is that I use the um, parakeet a bit more uh, neater onto that cardstock whereas I blended it with a couple of colors there that's what they're intended to do but of course you can distress round them when I say distress round you can take your, another colour and you could go around the edge of that and distress around there so I could take a little bit of purple and go around there as well however mm -hmm. we're making a card we are we're making a card so let's bring in our mats and layers if you are like me you will have inky winky finger inky oh, winky yeah. oh I do that's another word isn't it inky winky finger inky fingers don't know why I keep coming up with these words, Lily. I'm just trying to put it out there. I come out with the strangest of things. Now I'm looking for glue because I've put my glue down and you're not you're not fighting me for glue, are you? I no. could see your eye then, I could see it. I was looking for it for I you. I know, I'm like, where the hell have my glue gone? I've wondered what I've done with it. Oh, is it the one that I've nicked? Is it the one from the uh, trolley? That what one. is she like? I'm cheeky, go on, there you No, you have it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll use, use my tape, tape pen. pen, I don't mind. I'm gonna say I'll use my tape pen, it's okay. Sure? I'm sure, sure. sure you're going to take the glue back. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm causing mischief. Normally, in the other craft room, we've got tons of supplies in there, mm -hmm. haven't we, Lily? We do. We have a lot in there. We're in the other studio. We um, are. So uh, we're a bit limited. We are. There we go. Pop that into there. Uh, Max and Lair, if you want to gut it, you can absolutely do that if that's what you want to do. And when I mean gut, I mean take out the middle section. Mm -hmm. However, um, I'm not going to. Um, again, offers me a little bit of rigidity. Absolutely. And I'm going to come in, line that up, eyeball that, looks about straight, and attach. And then, not that one, Debbie, you're keeping that for another time. We're going to pop that onto here okay. uh, for our first matte and layer of the black cardstock. Mm -hmm. You can use red liner tape, you can use a wet glue, a tacky glue, um, finger lift tape, or in my case, our tape pen and just pop that down and that black makes it pop it certainly does it absolutely makes that pop one of my favorite techniques that to bring in your thin mats and layers of your black card to make those bright colors pop i think a lot of people think oh black you know it's a really dull color it's going to make things look really harsh actually does the opposite and it makes those bright colors sing even more yeah you can see that there that looks amazing Debbie. and that's the bit that's going to sit onto there you can already see it forming together mm -hmm. now the three strips i like to add a, that little bit of black again to make that pop okay and um, so in this respect we know that they're half an inch so mm -hmm. we'll take our strips and I'm not going to trim anything down at the minute. We know we need it to be that width of the card, which is five and a half. So yep. if I take that now and trim these down to five and a half, it is five and a half, isn't it, Lily? Yes, it is yes, five it and a half. Yeah. Questioning myself then. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, and I know that I'm at half an inch, so I'm going to take these two three quarters of an inch, uh -huh. and we're going to make three of these so that our strips fit neatly, if I just show you, neatly, into there from the top to bottom now i'm not having a black end at either bottom or top uh -huh. if you want to do that you absolutely can but you don't have to so again i'm just going to hold that down and then create my three pieces at three quarters of an inch by five inch strips five, sorry five and a half inch strips uh -huh. uh, so that it fits those pieces together nice and neatly so that's that one again i'm going to take my tape pen take your tape pen take, your, tape pen, there. take your glue whatever it is that you want to pop on there and just now do the matting and the layering in between those as well Perfect. and that's all three of those that you're going to do gosh it's very loud outside it isn't it today isn't it? my dear why well, we had to work shut the door well we've got very important guessing we certainly do we've got a whole team we've got Leanne in Everyone's in today. It's very Absolutely. busy out there, isn't There's it? a big, massive team. It certainly is. I even think, did I hear that Jake had come in as well? Well, I'm not sure. I've not I seen it. I thought I'd heard Jake come in as well. No. I thought I'd heard Jake. Sure. But there's loads of people in today. Normally, at this time, there is nobody Absolutely. in apart from us in yeah. the building. However, tonight, as you're probably aware, um, our lovely Sarah is in. She certainly is, Sarah and Ben. Yeah, absolutely. In the preview. Now, I'm going to do my mats and my lair. Lily, I've already cut you a sentiment, so you're oh, all good. Oh, bless you. Thank I've, you. I've, 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 I've cut you a sentiment already. She's a good one. And how do I repay her by nicking a glue? Oh, dear. <laughs> Some now, friend I am there. If you want, you can stick that in the middle. Uh-huh. 
Um, I like the off the centre a little bit. Okay. So I quite liked having about a slither at the top and the side. I like that. I'm doing that myself, I think. And then I'm going to layer these pieces in and then those pieces coming down. So you can see how this oh, card like starts to form. Uh, at does. this point, if you want to use foam pads, yeah. feel free. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping them nice and flat. Okay. Just because. And you know what? It's sometimes nice just to have cards. <laughs> Um, as Jamie will tell you, mm -hmm. it's nice to have certain occasion cards in for yeah. anybody that comes to you and says, can mm -hmm. I have a birthday card, please, Debbie? Yeah. And my answer to that is, if you've got some of these already in, thank goodness I didn't seal that down because it's not on straight. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Jamie's trying to, wreck, you know, he's trying to dig himself he out. He certainly I'm, is, I hope, your mum's, not I hope your mum's not watching Jamie. It's not working. <laughs> He knew, he knew I'm a crafting today, bless him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what craft, Matt? What you, you want, well, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I've had, I've had, I've had, wait a minute. Thanks. There you go. Behind the scenes. There you go. The crafty angel coming in there, running round. There she lovely, is. Uh, must be our Sarah. Uh, right, are you ready? So we're, we're going to come in now and we're going to add us strips. Now, um, honestly, don't, don't worry too much about this. Just get it on. Okay. And pop that down. And Lily, you might do a different take on it. You might be crafting along exactly. It's entirely up to you how you do this. It's just a little play with your inks. Mm. It's a little play with uh, a bit of cardstock uh, to create. And I'm going to have to lift it up because I have to eyeball things, Lily, to make sure I've got everything nice and straight. Oh, I have to do that. I have to hold stuff at uh, a distance. I'm now, terrible. I've done you a little sentiment, Lily. Oh, so thank you. I've just chucked it on the end of my desk for you. I'll come up at you. Uh, because I'm going to make this an happy birthday card, so I've just used an happy birthday die. This show's not about die cutting. We did that earlier. What I will say is, though, trim off the ends. I made it slightly, just a fraction, bigger. So okay. you can trim off at your end. Mm -hmm. Now, you could use a guillotine at this stage. I'm quite comfortable and comfortable with scissors. Uh, but that was just to trim that off. I'm going to now stick... Now then, dotty tape pen. Where have you gone, dotty? I've not nicked it. I've nicked the tacky glue just to, uh, <laughs> just to put that out there. Because I knew there was accusations on its way. I thought, no, not this time. <laughs> I'll take the blame for stuff I have done, but not stuff Actually, I have I know I'm heavy-handed, so I'm going to have to be careful here because I know what I'm like, and I am terrible when it comes to our sentiments in terms of getting... <laughs> She says, stuck to my finger. Is that you saying you want the tacky glue back? Is that, that no, what I'm that's fine, all about? No, I'm fine, I'm sure? I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Okey I'm just going to pop that on. My happy birthday. And stick that down. And the only thing I'm going to finish off with, my, myself personally, uh -huh. I'm just going to add some dew drops onto you are. Um, here. So let me grab my... Oh, now then, poke tool. What did you... Did you pack your poke tool away, Debbie? I've not oh. had that one, I promise. Uh, it's all right, I found one. I found one. I'm just going to pop a few little dew drops down onto my card. And that's for me just to finish that off. And since mm -hmm. Jamie's nicking my original one... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? He says what? What? I'm just going to get my dew drops in. Um, the reason I use dew drops for this is because the dew drops um, allow you to... Uh, allow the colour to come through. Um, which is why I love to use a dew drop with when it's inks. Yeah. And I'm just going to line up three... I'm always doing things in threes. Do you, do you oh, have a yeah. rule of thumb with yours? Oh, absolutely. I, I, odd numbers most of the time, but mainly it's threes. Yeah, uh, it's just something just about... Yeah, I, 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 I was... What it is. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you what it is or the rule yeah. of thumb, why we do it. I was told many, many years ago that even numbers are sort of... They create order, whereas odd numbers... If you've got odd numbers or something, it creates interest, so people are more likely to stop and notice it and sort of take notice and have a second look. I never knew that crafty fact. But there you go. It's what I was told and I've, I've stuck with it. So odd numbers create <laughs> interest. There you go. Whether it's true or not, who knows, but that's what I've gone with for many years. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds about right, I think. And I'm just going to add, and I'm, I am just being, you know, just popping them down on here. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm just popping my threes, going down, up and down. And because I've got one left of that, phew, that worked out OK. Um, I'm just going to drop that on. And now what you've done is you've created a beautiful inky background with your water reactive inks. This is where we started, showing you how they blend beautifully together, regardless of the colour. Mm hmm but look at the kind of thing that you can create with these beauties. Lily, I'm dying to see yours. Can I have a look at yours? Because I've used it. bright colours, you've used a darker colour. Yep, I've used my sort of colours. I like to go for my blues, my purples. No pinks on there actually for me, which is uh, quite That's unusual. beautiful. 
different isn't it really quite different but same composition just changing up your ink pad colors changing up by using your craft mat instead of your glass mat and it totally changes that look and feel how easy was that love that Love Absolutely. That. Did you hear Jamie? Did you hear Dean? No. Dean went, he's got a choice of three cards now. Uh. <laughs> Jamie, if you want this one, you can have it. It's up to you. <laughs> totally your call. Uh, oh, he wants them all, does he? Oh, he's a bit greedy and he wants them all, the cheeky little devil. We did say a choice of three, a choice. <laughs> Not, you can have all three. Maybe you can have one for this year, one for next year, one for year after. You covered three years worth of birthday cards. Your mum won't remember, will she, next year, what she's had birthday card-wise this year? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe they're that memorable that she will. But Debbie, I have so enjoyed that. That is a fabulous technique. So easy, though. Literally simple as can be. So if yeah. you're wanting to try this at home, even with the kiddies, I think. I Absolutely. Think the That's the thing. Um, about our water reactive, there's lots of things you can do with them. Um, this is where I started my inky journey, mm -hmm. especially because this was the first one we brought out, yes. uh, which is our water reactive. And it's been one that's been close to my heart ever since because um, I remember doing a class with Liam when I went to Craftaganza and I learned so much about all those mixing of the colours and the things that they could do. You can stamp with them, you can eat and boss with them, you can distress with them, you can, you can paint with them. Mm. Uh, they're such a versatile ink pad and they work and fit beautifully with the rest of the Armony ink pads. So the water reactive work alongside the quick dry, work alongside the opaque. They work beautifully together. They work, as they put it, like pun, pardon the pun, they work in harmony together. So you can mix between those as well. So I absolutely love these ink pads. And you know, to create something as simple but striking. Mm. It's a striking card. It certainly is. But you can do this and you could have multiples of these and a lineup of cards and you've created it yourself the satisfaction you take from that is immense and then that's just a bog standard five and a half by seven and a half card you could then take it into your other folds you could take it into your double z fold your your, your um, pyramid cards or the tp cards you could take this technique and use it for all of your water reactive backgrounds so for me i think they're a fabulous one if you've not tried them Head over to the website, have a little shop the show and see what's on there because there's so many things on there, isn't there? Absolutely, they are. Wow, an amazing technique there with our water reactive ink pads. You'll see details on your screen, a seven piece collection of your water reactive ink pads for just £24 or $32. The colours you're getting are smoked emeralds, you've got anthracite, you've got spa blue, you've got green topaz, spring meadow and also oasis. All seven of those for £24 or $32. You can do all of those techniques that Debbie has just shown you with that amazing first of three craft longs. We'll be back in just a moment with even more inspiration, so I'll see you in just two ticks. Goodbye. When it started about 20 years ago, um, probably a bit longer because I've always been quite crafty, uh, but I got into scrapbooking. When my youngest daughter was born, I uh, decided to do scrapbooking. I uh, got all this amazing crafty stuff that I put into all these pages. Really, I started getting into card making probably about 15 years ago, and then that was it. I have so many people that inspire me, and I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because I'm a crafter's companion, but Sarah Davis was one of the first people that I got to meet in the craft industry. My mum got me into crafting, so that's my main inspiration. So you can imagine how excited I get when I get to meet Sarah Davis. I mean, when I then got on the design team, when I got to work with Sarah closely, everything from then on was amazing. But my mum is definitely, uh, or was, the most inspirational person in my life through my crafting. Gossip, I can't, I can't give you any gossip, I mean that's between us. Uh, do you know what, we were just literally in the green room, uh, uh, everyone, it's just been done out and John's been in there and it's, it's become this place where everyone just comes in and it's just this gossip fest uh, and it's amazing because we're all such good friends genuinely and I know you all know that, uh, but we have the most amazing time between us all. Me and Craig bounce off each other because we're very similar in our crafty ways. Um, but also me and Debbie, we're full of giggles and uh, me and Jan and Corinne and Michelle, everybody that I work with is amazing uh, on the set and off the set. It's just incredible to, uh, to work at Crafts Companion. 
non-craft facts. Well, I have to say, I'm a bit of a singer and a dancer. I'm not good at either. Um, when I was little, I did win a disco dancing competition for the school and I come second to a Michael Jackson um, a tribute, uh, which I was quite gutted about because uh, I thought I might have, might have won that. So I used to do a bit of disco dancing uh, and I love dancing. I used to be part of an adult dance group um, and it's something I'd like to take lessons. Hello and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. We've entered the second hour of our last craft along of today. This one is all about our fantastic ink pads. So we're gonna be featuring lots of our different ink pads that we have here at Crafters Companion. We've started off with those amazing water reactive ink pads. I've actually just crafted along with Debbie, which was uh, quite fun. I had a whale of a time creating that inky background with some of our water reactive inks. We're gonna move on to some other ink pads uh, within our range in just a few moments with a few more projects and inspiration from Debbie, but of course this is an interactive show. We've been asking you guys at home to get in your questions, get in any comments as well as about ink pads, and we'll do our very best to get any of those questions answered within this final hour of the show. Just a few more comments to read out before we go into that next demonstration. You guys are loving Debbie's uh, first technique. Uh, we've got um, Sarah saying, so pretty Debbie, she's seeing a poppy in the inky background. That's the sort of thing you can, you can look into your inky backgrounds, you can always so, sort of start to see different images or different shapes, uh, which is really fun to have a little look uh, at those sorts of things. Uh, Jenny has popped over from the preview show, she's saying she loves the colours uh, that um, Debbie's been using. Sarah says stunning. Uh, Jenny says gorgeous Lily, thank you Jenny, I have to say I love crafting along, that was a fab technique wasn't it? Tracy saying beautiful cars Debbie and Lily, love the colours you've both used. Uh, Lynn Morton says, yep, she was told years ago, odd is pleasing to the eye. Uh, and Sarah's saying, fab price for the ink pads. And finally, Lynn Morton saying, beautiful cards, ladies, thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure to craft along with Debbie for that last uh, little project there. Now, before we get into that next demonstration, I want to share with you our gold shimmer ink pads. So, uh, at the uh, top of the first hour, we actually had a little look at some of our uh, sort of original shimmer ink pads, but these are the gold shimmer ink pads. So you've got all of the beautiful colours, then they're all shot with that gold shimmer. And the shimmer and shine on these is absolutely incredible. As I tilt that board, you can see, wow, there it is. There's that gold shimmer, absolutely beautiful. Eight different gold shimmer ink pads here for that Platinum Club price today of £34.40 or $51.20. You're getting all eight of those. You've got everything from your greens to your blues, even that beautiful uh, sort of gold and yellow colour as well. The colours are just incredible. Same sort of idea with these as with our original shimmer ink pads. So you can do your blending, you can do your inking, you can be doing your stamping, your heating bottom as well. I know we're going to see these in action in just a few moments as well. So you can see exactly the sorts of incredible techniques that you can do with our gold shimmer ink pads. Now I will keep saying, make sure you guys at home, if you've got any questions, get those questions, keep on coming in. Debbie will do her very best to answer. I'm pretty sure she'll have the answer. She knows an awful lot about ink pads. So any sort of questions you've got when it comes to any of our ink pad ranges, get those questions in. And you can see as I'm just flicking through some of these samples, you can use these shimmer ink pads onto your dark colors of card, like your craft card, some heat embossing being done on that one. You can use them onto your embossing folders there. They look absolutely incredible. Maybe you've got dyes that you want to be adding your colors to. Perhaps you're creating your wash background, your ombre backgrounds. So much you can do with these, but that shimmer, that shine is absolutely amazing. And I think it's time we saw these in action. So Debbie, what have you got next for us? Well, I did a, a little social post a few weeks back using these, mm -hmm. and um, I got a lot of a lot of feedback from it, saying oh, they'd love to see this being made, and I, and the flowers that I'd use. I mean, the flowers, they're old flowers. I'm just going to tell you. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a little play with them. So. We're going to create a little bit of a smooshy background again. Oh, yeah. The lovely thing about this, though, is the gold. Mm. The gold that's in the background is stunning. We're going to stencil through them. We're going to distress around the edges. We're going to solid colour them. So we're going to take a little piece of cardstock, solid colour, using... And I've just used... I've just chosen two. Mm -hmm. Two colours. Wow. Um, to create this. Just two. But you, there's so many of them. What you've got, though, Lily, is that juicy pearlescent pigment mm. in there. And that metallic finish in a colour. It's amazing, I, isn't it? Seriously, every time I say it out loud, I think, oh my God, are we, are we for real? Are we, mm -hmm. Do we really do these? Yes, we do. Um, they are stunning. The Gold Series is 
beautiful so much so they absolutely flew when we brought these um, and the launch we could not keep up with the demand mm -hmm. now before we get started we need some mats and layers we do so let's start again now i've kept it so simple in terms of the size of the card base because guess what we're doing again is it five and a half by seven and a half well it might well be oh that. call me and mystic you know, mag let's let's just keep it as simple as possible in terms of how we're going to do these card bases so i'm going to take it to 11 inches by five and a half inches <laughs> I do love keeping Easy things nice and simple, Lily. The thing is, so it's all about the ink pads. We're not doing it. This is not like a fancy fold master class. It's no, not exactly. a, a 3D project craft long. It's all about those ink pads. So do you know what? Let the ink pads do the talking. Don't spend all your time creating your card bases. Enjoy that inking, all that, uh, all that messy crafting. Keep it simple. I love it. Absolutely. Do you know what I've just realised I've done? I've <laughs> got it wrong way around. I was, I was looking at that and thinking. I was thinking, I can tell. I, I, do you know, seriously, Lily, oh. I think I'm losing the blooming oh, pot. Dear. And I've still got... <laughs> 55 minutes, you'll be oh. fine, Debbie. And then we drive home, I'm like, what oh, are you doing, no. girl? What are you doing? I was looking at it and thinking, <laughs> is that the camera? That's not looking the right proportion. It wasn't the right proportion. Bless you, Debbie. Oh, so, dear. 11 inches yeah by five and a half i'm doing it the right way around no that seven one. and a half seven and a half so thank you lily oh <laughs> it feels like some old game oh, show doesn't lily, it thank higher you. lower honestly thank you so much for um bailing me out there because oh my god i was like what have i done i've ended it with a square cap do you know what there's no such thing as waste though because Absolutely we will not. we will use of course we will. I'm not being funny, Debbie. The funny thing is I did that the other night in the craft room. That's why the second time round I was like, no. Oh, honestly. We all do it. Scoring too, Lily. You can tell it's oh. getting late in day when I start losing tools. It'll be looking right there, at you. It's right at the side of me. Oh, is it? goodness sake, Debbie, pull yourself together. Oh, dear. <laughs> five and a half inch score yes. line that's Yay, it that's where the five and a half has come in i'm getting myself so confused we're tonight. getting a round of applause in the gallery and all sorts <laughs> <laughs> now oh dear, of yeah. course a mat and layer we're going to use a black piece of cardstock uh -huh. you can choose whatever you want all i'm going to give you is the measures do you know what makes me laugh as well lily oh, i wrote down all my pieces do you know what i said to you i can't remember measurements yeah. from the first cardstock Oh, they were no. all on here. Oh, for oh, good, honestly. Um, I need something. I need to give me a head wobble. Do you? what I need to do. <laughs> well, I did, I did a fairly similar thing last weekend. So for my craft along last Saturday, I'd brought it into the office earlier on in the week. And I thought, I'll leave my little prep pack in my, in my drawer uh, in the office. So I know come Saturday afternoon, it's all there, it's all safe. I got my little scrap of paper with all of my uh, measurements written on. I'd left it in a very safe place in the top <laughs> drawer. Came to Saturday, oh no, where's my measurements, where's my measurements, couldn't find them anywhere. Luckily, I'd popped a copy on the computer digitally, so I was all right. Came in the office this week, Monday morning, went in the top drawer to get some else, there they were. The instructions were all there in my top drawer. So in a safe place, so safe, I couldn't even remember they were there. Oh hey dear. Uh, right, so we've got a five and a half by seven and a half base, black matte cardstock, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. The white base that we're going to put these ink pads onto that background, mm -hmm. of course, is five by seven. Um, is. So that is the, the me that, now we have got a strip going through the centre. Now if I get my panel right, uh -huh. I will be able to see, but mm -hmm. I need to cut this too, Debbie. Get it right, girl, get it right. Come on, the Debbie, we believe in you. <laughs> Quarter. Yeah. That is never four and a quarter. Just hang on a minute. Aye. I swear that to God today. I knew when I saw it, it's two and a two quarter. And a quarter. Yeah. I knew when I saw it, I'm thinking, that is not. That is not four and a quarter. It's two and a quarter. And of course, if you're thinking about the length of this, we know this is seven and a half. Don't put mm -hmm. in the car. Oh, nearly. Uh -oh. Uh, we know this is seven and a half inches, mm -hmm. the base. Yeah. We know that's seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take it to seven and a quarter. Right. I've just snipped into that, Lily. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Quick I was question. just going to say, the wheels on the bus have unravelled. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you. Well, let's see if we can answer this question then. This is a fairly easy one. I think we can. Lynn Morton is asking, can you also heat emboss with your water reactive ink pads? Yes, you can. You, ca you can because they don't dry instantly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you straight, Lynn, I don't personally do it no, that I way. Um, the shimmer ink pads are very wet and juicy and don't mm -hmm. dry instantly, so you can add that to it as well. Um, and it almost gives your shimmer gold 
a little extra enamel over the top. Mm. Or pig pigment inks are the ones that I tend to use. I don't know about yourself, Lily. Exactly the that same, That is Deborah. just my personal choice. Mm -hmm. um, I use my water reactive, what you've just seen me use them with. Uh, but yeah, um, absolutely. If you want to do that technique, you can do that technique. It is just not my personal mm. ink pad choice to do that. Thing That's is, a preference. Because they're a little bit quicker drying with your water reactive, you have to be really quick to get yeah. your embossing powder on. Whereas with your pigment ink pads, so both me and Debbie like to use our pigment ink pads instead to eat embossing. Because they're slow drying ink pads, it means you don't have to be dead quick in terms of getting that embossing powder over the top. So technically the answer is yes. But if you can treat yourself to both some opaque pigment and some water reactive, you've got like the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Now with your mats and layers, you, I've given you those. That's the one we're going to colour with. So we're going to mm -hmm. make that uh, background. This is what we're going to stencil through. So this particular one. Now I measured that to two and a quarter by, um, and I went through the, the, the width. So I went to seven mm -hmm. and a quarter. And then I went a little bit smaller because I want that bit of a frame on this one. Mm -hmm. So I went to two inches yeah by seven that's that's that look at me inky fingers oh my oh, god i'm so Debbie. inky you know um, you've been having fun if exactly. they're not inky you're not doing enough thinking are you come on now <laughs> <laughs> now i'm going to stencil this piece first because I, I want you to see how beautiful these are before we do the background piece we're going to do that stenciling in fact do you know what we are going to do Ooh, go we're going to pause okay we're going to bring in a scrap bit of cardstock uh -huh. we're going to take our ink pads i am going to use now then Jamie did bring me in, thank you very much, Jamie, um, some rounded ones. That, okay. Round? Yes, the round yeah. ones. Um, and I'm going to use these to create, because obviously we're going to cut some flowers out. Oh, yeah. So we're going to take our ink pads. When well, I said juicy. Oh, yeah. That was a tiny little drop. Mm. And look at that. It, coverage is out of this world. Oh, wow. And it, oh. when I say the coverage, oh, my look God, that. Lily. They are stunning. I'll tell you what it's like. It's like um, your Centura Pearl hint of gold, but with a colour. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Can you Met see that? that yeah. I can see here now at the moment, because it's not quite dry, but I can see the gold. Uh -huh. And, and the, the, the way it dries, you get that lovely gold running through there. Mm. But again, you can blend those together. Two harsh colours, but you can go straight in. And I say harsh colours, bright, vivid colours. Oh, yeah. They're so inky, they're so juicy, oh, yeah, and they react that. beautifully as well. Uh, because they're still water-based. At the end of the day, oh, Debbie's put her fingers <gasps> in, I'm going to get inky fingers Oh, still. we've all been there, there we've all are. been I there. I just put my fingers straight uh -oh. in there, Lily. Um, but honestly, and I want to cover quite a bit of this, because we're going to die cut some florals and flowers out of there. You do not have to have the same flowers as me, mm -hmm. can we just say. You can use, oh, God, that. Uh, that flame pink Gorgeous, is isn't it? utterly divine and I'm just going to stop about there because my flower dies and I'm just going to give it a quick quick and I mean a quick a quick blast with the heat tool uh -huh. I can see it's still wet so at this point if you wanted to add some um, embossing, powder. embossing powder thank you very much there you, you go absolutely do I'm going to let you into a secret with these mm -hmm. and the same with my shimmer I don't do not do no, I like I that shimmer. Um, when you add a clear embossing powder over the top, you have like a glass-like finish. Uh -huh. And I will say, to get that enamel finish, you need to double dunk or triple dunk yeah. with your embossing powders. Oh, yeah. Because the first technique that you will do when you do that is will be mm. like an orange peel. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to... Oh, wow. Look at that, Look Deborah. at that gorgeous, oh, beautiful that's amazing. gold oh. shimmer. I mean, seriously, absolutely beautiful. Because I've dried it though, because I've, I've heat tooled it. it uh, heat. I'm doing heat it again. It. Debbie, I've heat tooled it. words tonight. Look at that gold. Oh, it's amazing. absolutely stunning. I'm going to leave that as a solid colour. Okay. And the reason I'm leaving that as a solid is because I'm going to die cut my flowers and I'll have some two tones running through there mm. and that gorgeous gold. So I've got a little bit of ink on here already. So uh -huh. I'm going to drop down now. Let's, try, let's start with that lighter colour. This is when I get really messy. Uh oh. I can tell I love a bit of inking oh, techniques. Me too. Now, drop a little bit of that down onto there. Uh -huh. Get your spritzer. And you're probably thinking, but you're going to water down that gold? Uh -huh. Well, not, not with really. the amount that's in those. Blimey. I mean, not really. I'm going to come in with my inky background and a bit similar to what we did. We're going to, and you can see the gold um, separating from yeah. that ink. Wow. But honestly, 
have a little play with these as well and just create a nice smooshy little oh, bit of a background look at that you can use and i'm going to use most of this lily i'm going to get mm -hmm. that up there and dry this off um you can see there's still a little bit more down there the only thing i'm going to tell you is if you're going to add any more to mm -hmm. the mat yeah do not go where the water is so ah, i can see yeah. here there's no water mm -hmm. you're going to interfere with your ink pad anytime you take i can already see that drying naturally let alone mm. eat tool in it oh i'm Lily, it, you do you know what, Debbie? I'm going to be start doing I that, that myself. One more time, I am going to kick myself. See? Heat tooling. It's going to catch on. I can see myself using it now. Oh, oh I apologise right now yeah. to anybody out there that's going. What words is she saying? Heat tooling means Spin. drying it with a heat tool. I mean, I'm not being funny, but saying drying it with a heat tool it takes ages. We'd rather be crafting. So, quite frankly, if we can make it a bit shorter, <laughs> why not? I'm all for it. Love it. <laughs> I get oh, worse the age, I just get worse the age. Oh. While Debbie's just drying that, we've got a couple of comments to read out. All of the Lynn Morton is saying she's got a chance to get the floral alphabet dyes and they're great. She's going to use these and the water reactive ink pads together. She's off to get shopping. I do not blame you at all, Lynn. Uh, she's saying thank you for answering my questions and for the advice. Sorry to be such a pest. Lynn, I'm going to point my finger at you now. No. <laughs> Can ask as many questions as you like. I've told you to ask questions, so please do get any questions in. If you've got multiple questions, keep them coming in. Honestly, that is what it's all about. So no, I won't have you telling us that you're being a pest because you are not. This is what it's all about. <laughs> We're an interactive show. Uh, and I'm so pleased that you were uh, getting, the, uh, getting the ink pads after our advice. Uh, Jenny's saying, look at that shimmer. Sarah is loving the shimmer ink pad colours. And our lovely Becky was over on the social saying, that is beautiful. And she also loves those ink pads. Yeah, uh, honestly, all? glorious, glorious ink pads. Um, and even, I mean, you can let it dry naturally. You can add to it. I'm going to add a little bit more down there, but I'm not going to interfere with the ink that's um with the water that's on top of that ink mm -hmm. but i just want to add a little bit more uh spritz a little bit more add a little bit more and i just want to create a really lovely inky smooshy background like we did with the first one with the water reactive ones and this is again just to show you that they do react beautifully with water they do but Ooh. and the, this is the big bit and we'll do a close-up in a second when i've dried this off mm -hmm. You would think when you add water, you're going to lose that gold shimmer. You would have thought so, yeah. Not at all. Wow. Not lose any of it. You just get a different effect. You get a different layout where the gold is, which is why, again, these are really versatile. Blend, mm -hmm. heat emboss if you want to. Leave them as natural as you want to to get that lovely shimmer with the gold running through there because the gold for me is sensational now i'm going to line these up shall we, shall we do it that way jamie or the can you see it is that better you're not losing any of that gold mm -hmm. what you've got is a split between those colors and the gold running through there and it's almost like veiny like oh, so yeah. you can use and this is the same two colors but look at the difference wow and you've still got that gold oh, look at that amazing that gold running all the way oh. through there when you lay down the color oh look at that look at that Woo -woo. beautiful absolutely but nothing lost mm -hmm. but just a different effect Oh, that Jamie. Looks, that looks like marble. That looks Honestly, like, like a, the, a golden This is what top. I don't want you to worry about. You can do this with the shimmer as well. Now, I'm going to pause a second because um, we're going to stencil the colours through because mm -hmm. I've misplaced my strip. Uh -oh. I might have to cut myself one out because I don't know what I've done with it. And I need to tidy up a little bit. Uh -huh. So uh, could you just give me a second, Lily? Then we we'll come back can. and we'll stencil through Absolutely using my stencil. we will. I just want to recap that incredible collection of your gold shimmer ink pads. You've seen Debbie just use two of those eight colourways that you're getting as part of this collection. So eight different gold shimmer ink pads for £34.40 or $51.20. All of those amazing colours with that incredible gold shot through each and every single one of those. Amazing ink pads, you've just seen them in action. Debbie was using the fantastic Cosmic Purple and your Flame Pink, but of course you're getting all eight as part of this collection. And lots of techniques you can be doing with these beautiful ink pads. So that's our shimmer ink pads that we've been using for this particular craft along but it is proving so, so popular. I want to quickly share with you once again our amazing shimmering watercolour palette because this is literally flying off the shelves. You guys at home are lapping this up and I can see why because it's absolutely gorgeous. You're getting 24 
pearlescent watercolour uh, colourways as part of this fantastic palette and it's all housed in that lovely presentation palette which you can take with you if you're crafting on the go as well which is absolutely brilliant you can see on your screen there it is going fast and it certainly is it's £17.99 or $21.59 to get all of those beautiful colourways there is incredible these are the ones that work best on your lighter colours of card so optimum results will be on your white card stock with these you can use them to paint with them to get the most incredible richly shimmering watercolour effects but of course you can seal those 24 colours but with them being water based of course you get all the different dilutions all the different shades of each and every single one of those beautiful colours $17.99 or $21.59 for all 24 colourways. Now we're going to give you a few moments to check out those baskets. I know we showed you some incredible inspiration, but now's the time to hit that website and make sure that you can recreate Debbie's demos by getting the right products. So check out the Crafters Companion website because it's all on there. All your ink pads, all of your fantastic paints and everything else we've been talking about throughout the course of this show and throughout the course of today as well. So we'll be seeing you in just a couple of moments. My name's Michelle and I am the newest craft expert. My crafting journey began um, just after I had my daughter Alice, so she's 14 now. Um, I, long story short, I suffered with postnatal depression. My husband sort of noticed, took me to the doctors. And of all things, the doctor suggested colouring. Um, said it's so mindful, really helps. So anyway, my husband had noticed that I discovered the craft channels. Um, went out one day, came home with um, an amazing little craft kit for me and uh, that is where my addiction began. But one of my main inspirations is actually um, going onto our, our pages on Facebook, Instagram and seeing what everyone else is making with the same stuff that we're making. Um, as cheesy as it's going to sound, Debbie Robinson, Debbie Fisher, um, those are two of the main people that um, I watched a lot of. They are all so inspirational. Okay, so I absolutely love everyone that I work with. Um, I don't have a lot of juicy gossip that I can share, but I will say Debbie Robinson is exactly what you see on screen. She is a laugh a minute. She is exactly what you see. So, you know, you, you think, oh, did I put it on for the camera? They don't. Debbie Robinson is definitely Debbie Robinson and I love her and she really does say all the time, eee, what am I like? So other than crafting, um, I just love being at home with my family. I know that sounds cheesy, but my husband is the most amazing support for me. My kids are fantastically weird, odd, crazy, but perfect. Um, but at the minute, um, I'm very focused on my health, so I'm exercising a lot. Um, so I would say, other than craft, which like takes up 23 and a half hours a day, that my health and lifestyle, I think you would say. So, um, so I've had a few cards published in a couple of magazines as um, design, designer for the day. Um, so that was sort of a really big deal for me. I loved it. And then I got um, accepted onto the Crafters Companion design team. Oh my God, the whole world could hear me scream with excitement. And then um, I got the call to come up and try out for this job. It is by far the most amazing, exciting thing I have ever, ever done. And it is just, it's been life changing. Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. We've got just over half an hour left as part of this fabulous craft along that's focused on all things ink pad. And we're talking lots of different ink pad ranges that we do here at Crafters Companion, whether it's going to be our water reactives, which is what we featured in that first demonstration, or our fantastic gold shim ink pads, which is exactly what we're looking at as part of this second, almost like a second mini craft along if you like. Debbie's putting together two finished projects as part of this six o'clock show, uh, which is fantastic because it gives it lots of different inspiration. If you've got any questions any comments please do keep them coming through on the socials questions we are 
absolutely love that's what it's all about on tonight's show it's all about that interactivity and getting any of you your worries or your woes when it comes to air ink pads answered but before we get back over to debbie if you just joined us i want to quickly share with you the amazing deal that we've got on our fantastic gold shimmer ink pads and this is an eight piece collection of all of those fantastic colorways that you can see here you've got um, all eight for 34 pound 40 or 51 dollars 50. Now we can see some of the techniques in action with Debbie. We've done some inking uh, of your backgrounds. We've done some of your mop-up backgrounds. We've done some of your stenciling. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of die cutting into those backgrounds in a bit as well. But they are absolutely beautiful. If we bring in one of the ink pads themselves, you can see we've got that really beautifully ergonomic shape, that teardrop shape to our ink pads. Not only does that nestle and fit really comfortably into the palm of your hand, it also means you've got that ink pad shape for a way, wide range of different applications. So if you want to fill in a broader area, you've got that wider end there of your ink pad. And if you just want to get into that fine detail, maybe it's going to be a really detailed stamp or a background or a bit of inking that you're doing that requires that little bit of precision, then that uh, tapered end is going to be absolutely ideal. But don't forget you're getting eight of those with that amazing gold pearl essence that shimmer that sheen shot all the way through each and every single one of those ink pads for 34 pound 40 or 51 dollars 20. Debbie should we get into the next stage of our oh, fantastic yeah. So project? I, I, yeah definitely so I said I we're going to do a little bit of stenciling through there uh -huh. um, so I've taken uh, the stencil that Lily had actually oh, yeah? uh, from that stylish trio um, and creating these teardrops you can use any stencil this is just one of my chosen ones that I've gone for um, and I'm going to just take it straight over and create a real I can see the gold honestly mm. the gold on these is incredible it's almost instant isn't it, it to is. Lily sorry Amazing. Lily did you nearly call me back here again or was it I somebody else's time I'm like what on earth is wrong with you oh, I've been back here to see you Lily I've been with you really all day I know <laughs> so, yeah. oh, oh Lily dear, please excuse dear. me well, I'm going to, going to send you some love your way because we're getting some lovely comments coming in. So I'm just going to quickly read those in while uh, Debbie's just doing a little bit of inking. Uh, so Jane is joining us and Jane said she's been silently watching. Oh, bless you, Jane. You've had a rough couple of days, so I'm sending you love. I hope things are improving now. But she says, I have to say how fab these cards are. She's going to have a go right now, Jane love it have a go while you're watching it along why on earth not she's saying she loves this technique she's not being brave enough to create cards as of yet we'll follow along debbie's craft along and you can see her put these onto the cards jenny's saying wowza sarah's saying she's smooching along with you with her own ink pads and she's having a ball it's a way to do it that's for sure and then finally we've got angela saying she's joining with the shimmer ink pads um she's loving it she's halfway through one background she was thinking not good but she's persevered and now she's delighted. Remember, nothing is wrong, go with it, absolutely. And that's the thing with your inking. Uh, quite a, a famous mixed media artist always says, you're only ever one layer away from perfection. So <laughs> if you think you're not quite there yet, just keep going. Just keep going, you'll get that's things fabulous. Absolutely. And that's all you need to do. And I'm just tickling around the edges. Just tickling? You can, and it's just to, to blend it a little bit more um, into there, but again, mm -hmm. While I've got all this ink that's on the side of my glass mat, I might as well use it. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, it takes away some of that stark whiteness that's mm -hmm. in the background there. Um, of course, you could go entirely over the top of that. Um, but I just want to tickle around the edges. Uh, there's a lot of ink still on here. So tickle away to mm -hmm. your heart's content. And you've got yourself a really beautiful background. Wow. So I've still got as well quite a lot on there. You can use that with a scrap paper. Um, you will get more of a, um, how should we describe it, Lily? More uh, of a watered down, not as, not as intense. Muted? Muted, second generation. Yeah. Just take that ink off there. Um, take your blending brushes and just take the ink. Of course, it won't be as intense, but you will still see some of the gold in there mm -hmm. because there is quite a lot. It's, they're very, very juicy ink pads, but you'll get a different look. Um, so you can, of course, take this and then you've got a nice little oh, wow. faded one. I There's like still that. more on there. You could go ahead and, and add some more. Uh, but again, you still can see some of the gold running through there. It's just a little bit more muted. Um, but for me, it's all about not wasting a single thing. Oh, yes. Don't waste anything. I mean, there's still onk on there and uh, in onk. Oink, 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 oink. Uh -oh. um, oh. uh -uh. The words tonight. Uh, <laughs> top form is all I'm going to say, Lily. Top oh, form. Oh, bless you. I know what I'm like. Um, it's just the way I am. We wouldn't right. have you any other way, Debbie. It's a good job, sure. to be fair, because okay. I don't think I could... Well, There's I no other option, so I ain't got There's much no choice. It's a good this job, is, This is it? me. This is how I am. Um, 
Thank you, Jamie. He said never change. God nope. love him. We're great. Do not now, change, Debbie. We have got our background, our, ma our main card. We are. We've got our matte black. So let's get in. And I'll use my tape pen again. Mm -hmm. Get the tape pen. There we go. Lid uh, was actually off this time. Up. You want lovely? Lid was off this time. Doing well. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> So let's come in and add the background piece. Uh-huh. That looks okay. Then we're gonna add that smooshy mushy, lovely wishy-washy. Oh. I wanna say wishy-washy, but the gold run throughs there, there's nothing wishy-washy about oh, no. that with those beautiful gold veins. So we're gonna add the tape onto the back. Uh -huh. I saw her, I can tell she's getting she's super excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> now blimey it's all happening next door isn't it's it it's all happening i know we, we you know it's, it's lovely that it's busy tonight yeah. i think it's it's fab that it is yeah now i'm going to pop that into the center now at this stage i'm going to lift that so what i'm going to mm -hmm. do first is i'm going to add this to the back okay of my black part of my black panel sorry mm -hmm. and then we'll do a little bit of die cutting and again this is literally now just me doing the decoration part um and i'm just going to come in Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some foam pads to the back. Now, I fetched in some, I went and raided uh, Tracy's cupboards. Oh. Oh, I found, some, I found I... some large ones. So. Oh. <laughs> See, they're my favourites, they're big foam pads. <laughs> the ones that you can chop down yeah. into as well, yeah. Absolutely. It's daft because obviously we do the small ones, but I always find myself using the big ones and chopping them down. <laughs> Co Corinne, Corinne told me off about it the other weekend. She said, Lily, like, yeah, by Corinne. <laughs> She says, Lily, you're chopping down all their fur pads, just use small ones. I was like, mm, I could. But that'd be too easy. <laughs> too easy. <laughs> oh, dear. I like the other sheets where you can cut oh, your own size. Oh, Debbie, I love them. I They're, love the sheets. Yeah, I, I use them all the time I've, now. It's been a while since I've um, I had hold of any. Mm. Just thinking, this one I can't get off, and I'm just wondering oh. if that's been near some heat. I said this often, if you stick your foam pads near some heat, the backing will be extremely difficult to get off. Mm. <laughs> Tracy laying a trap. She would it. never do that, our Tracy. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, again, depending where you want to put that, do you want to put it at the bottom? Do you want to put Ooh, it at the top? Or do you want to go in the middle? Choices, choices. Mm. I'm just going to, before I stick that down, lift it, because bird's eye view is not my best view when I'm stood at this craft table. Um, that looks about right. It does to me. Now, that's the background, that's the middle strip. Mm -hmm. Then I've got this piece. So this okay. is when we're going to do a bit of die cutting. Ooh. So I did say that on my little, uh, and I did say this is where I got these flowers from. Uh -huh. Do you remember these, Lily? Because this is a long time I ago. I do vaguely, yes. They were, were they with the, the mini machine or the mini machine? They were, they were with, uh, in fact, tell a lie, the Gemini Go. Oh. Oh, yes, they got course. launched with a Gemini Go so they a did. while ago now. Oh, was, um, yeah. But yes, absolutely. I'm going to put that there because I want to get two lots of flowers out of there. I think it was 2018. Wow. Only reason I knew that is because I checked. Checked the other day. When your craft one came in, I was like, oh, I remember those. So I tried to find what year they were from. <laughs> India. I'm sure it was, I want to say November 2018. I'm sure some of you guys at home will know. But yes, yeah, blast from the past. But I love that. Using some of our newer ink and pads the thing, with the yeah. older dyes. That's what it's all about, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's about, you, you know, utilising um, your dyes that you have in your crafty stash. Now, what have I done with my low tap Oh, dear. Oh, do you know? There Mind we you, go. we're saying I'm... that and we're getting so many lovely comments. Sarah's saying you're lovely as you are, Debbie. And Evelyn oh. is saying, I love you, Debbie. You're so amazing. Stay the same. Well, our thoughts are exactly. Debbie, don't ever change. She couldn't <laughs> if she wanted to, but we love her the way she is. Thank you very much. It's a good job you do. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, oh, so I'm just going to run those through. Um, and then I'm going to run the With Love one because I'm using the colours that I've got in the background piece. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna run that through in a bit of black, but I am gonna just give myself a few more flowers. Now, um, I used a couple of weeks ago on my Facebook Live that I did, I used some of our uh, beautiful flowers and I noticed Cor uh, Corinne used them yesterday in, um, ah. I don't know if it was a craft along. I think it yes, might have been a craft along yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, because I noticed I spied them straight away because I love those flowers. Yeah. I was sorely tempted uh, to use them, mm -hmm. but um, I, I got my trusted faithful ones out. I absolutely love them. Any flowers, I mean, 
we love a flower here we certainly do. at Crafters Companion. But because this focus was on more of the uh, ink pads rather than the dyes, I thought, you know what? I can bring them out. Absolutely. I can bring them out of retirement. Um, let me come in. I'm going to use that, yeah, so I'll keep that little bit to one side. Pop that back on there. Yeah, Reuse your tape, Debbie. Absolutely. And then I'm just going to have a little bit of black because I'm going to offset that um, with love. Mm -hmm. The okay, dice that, exactly uh, that that's the one Jamie the dice that Corin used yesterday they're just called flower dice so the range is just called flower dice is that what they were yeah. called I couldn't remember All it the was. name of them yeah just flower dice no Jamie they're not that old they're, they're, they're less than two years old I was going to say about they're two not, yeah, years ago I, I want to say about June 2022 yeah. So Jamie was like, oh, they're ancient, they're ancient. Jamie, I says, they're, they're not even two years old. I mean, some of the stuff we've got from Crafters Companion is from, like, what, 10 plus years, 15 plus years ago? A year and there's, a half. There's, so, there's some I won't part with that I've oh, had for yeah. a long time. I know, me and I've still got CD-ROMs. Oh, Debbie. I, seriously, yeah. I won't uh -huh. part with them. I, I, used I, to... I can't, I can't mm -hmm. bring myself no. to part with certain ones. I did a good, massive clear out. And I feel like I'm due another one. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it is some that I just cannot part with. Yeah, I used to have a big uh, big box full of all the CD-ROMs. I used to collect them all. Oh, gosh, I yep. used to love all, printing all my toppers out, printing my papers out, doing your hand-cut decoupage. Oh, yeah, I did used to love a CD-ROM. Yeah, love a good CD-ROM. Right, crafting. I have got flowers. We are. I've got me with love. Let's add these on. Now, of course, with a flower dye, you can shape them. But again, this really isn't about any flower making dyes or things like that. It's all about those ink pads. Mm -hmm. So, of course, if you want to add that extra dimension, then please do shape them. Give them a nice little finish. I'm just going to take my dotty... Oh. Dotty tape pen. There he is. I was hiding away. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> And then I'm going to drop shadow, drop it down to the right or the left, mm -hmm. whichever way you want to go. I just want that hint, a little bit of a hint oh, yeah. of a black, because that is going to sit into the centre part. Now then, don't you dare run out on me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <coughs> right near the end, it's I done. Did, I did say I was heavy-handed. Uh -oh. Don't trust me with things. I am the world's worst. I've reverted back to me. I think I've just snapped the, you know, the cover. Oh no, Debbie. Uh oh. <laughs> you can. So if so if anybody comes to it tomorrow and they say, well, who's been at this? Uh -uh. Then you can blame me. Gee. Well, I'm on that blame side. Craig. I'm on that side tomorrow, Debbie, for the first and middle show. So uh, I'll know it's you. I'm afraid. Bless you. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to add some glue. Normally I would use um, hot glue at this stage, uh -huh. but I can see time is yet again running away with us. It does, doesn't in it? In here. And I did say we were going to do three. I might have to just do a couple of techniques with, mm. um, with the last uh, ink pads that I'm going to focus on. Um, nothing wrong with that. No, I think nothing I like that idea. We'd that. like to see the techniques, get that inspiration. Absolutely. So I'm just going to stick my little flowers mm -hmm. all around i've got quite a few of these so i'm gonna i'm gonna dress it all up and uh, add those and then add a little gem or two if you add some shape of course you get that extra dimension which i do like but mm -hmm. um because i want to try and cram in some more uh, techniques i'm just gonna pop those on um shall we add that back of there choices choices exactly i might as well use them all up yeah. really once you've taken the time to die cut may as well why not exactly now then what did i do with <coughs> said gems oh. now then i did choose some gold gems have i got them in my little there we go oh i thought i'd brought them give me two seconds oh. i'll be back i won't be a minute lily she will be back. Right, Debbie's just off to fetch her gems. But this particular mini craft along, if we want to call it that, is all about those gold shimmer ink pads. You'll see the details on your screen. That's for a collection of eight of our amazing gold shimmer ink pads for that Platinum Club price today of £34.40 or $51.20 for all eight of those incredible gold shimmer ink pads. And you can see on that card that Debbie's just finishing off now how amazing that gold shimmer is. Look at that. Just beautiful. Absolutely. Now I've realised I've not got enough gold, so I'm just going to mix oh, them no. up. It doesn't matter. Um, I normally would, of course, match them up, and I would use. In fact, you know what? 
let's mix them up why not they're nice shades of golds mm -hmm. and they might bring out a different tone to the gold oh, that's yeah. running through the ink so yes let's have a little play absolutely why not quick little question we've got coming in from lynn morton who's asking can i please ask what the point of a drop shadow is great question lynn it just um makes your sentiment pop mm -hmm. um rather than blend into uh oh <clears throat> oh, 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 Debbie, have you done what I think you've done? Yeah. I've done, uh, yeah, exactly that, Jamie. Oh, wow. Um, are you ready? We're ready. Do, do, it do, do, happens do. to the best of us. Oh, it does. Absolutely, Dropsy. it does. Whoops, it did, they. Um, it's meant to be opening uh -oh. that way. Actually, I didn't put... <laughs> oh, Debbie. I didn't put any pressure down on my thing, did I? There we Yay. go. Yay, It never yes. happened, never I got happened. I with it. <laughs> Oh, if you look at and that. There you go. Um, no longer an Australian card, but all of that gorgeous gold running through there. You can see that just by moving that, how beautiful that actually looks. I love our shimmer ink pads. I love our gold series shimmer ink pads. They're absolutely divine. Divine. They certainly are. <sighs> Wow. Right. I'm going to get ready to get some technique done. I might not get the finished card, but I'll show you the finished card. And you've already got the measurements. I've already told you. Mm -hmm. yep. 11 by five and a half. Uh, by, oh, De Lily. Oh. 11 by seven and a half. That's the one. Scored down at five and a half. Creates that base. You've already got that. And I'll explain that a little bit more as we go through the next round. You certainly will. Well, I'm looking forward to even more techniques. Next time, we're going to be focusing on our opaque pigment ink pads. But that particular mini project there was all about those gold shimmer ink pads. You'll see the details on your screen there for eight of those gold shimmer inks. £34.40 or $51.20 for all of those fabulous gold shimmer ink pads. Now, I did say our next uh, little technique sort of demo is going to be with our fabulous opaque pigment ink pads. And Debbie's going to share with you lots of different ways, lots of different techniques that you can use with these fantastic ink pads. But I want to share with you first up the details of a bundle of seven that we've got in stock over on the website. If you check on the um, shop the day, you will find these fantastic bundle of pigment ink pads. So for £24 or $32, you're getting all seven of these fantastic, really rich colourways here. So first up, we've got our parakeet. Then we've got that lovely deep damson wine, which is a really dark purple, just a gorgeous, rich colour that you've got with that one. Then we move on to our beautiful ocean blue. Next up, one of my personal favourites, no surprise there, with it being our pink tulip. Then we have our twilight grey. And don't underestimate your greys and your dark colours of ink pad. Those are ideal for your crafting. Maybe you're building up more atmospheric makes. Maybe it's going to be for your masculine creations. Perhaps it's going to be for those scenes. Your greys and your browns are really useful ones to have in your crafty stash, as well as those lovely, bright, um, sort of vivid colours. Then we've got our lemon tonic. And then finally, we have got our Bordeaux, which is a lovely, really deep, dark, uh, sort of burgundy red sort of colourway with that fantastic ink pad. All seven of those gorgeous pigment opaque ink pads for £24 or $32. And the beauty of your opaque pigment ink pads, when we talk about pigment, we're talking about that slower drying time. So it's ideal for using with your heat emboss techniques. So stamp with these, maybe sprinkle some of your clear embossing powder over the top. You can still do all your blending, all of your layering. You can be doing your fantastic um, sort of left press techniques with your embossing folders as well. So many different techniques you can do with these. But sort of the, the superpower, if you like, the thing that makes these special is the fact that they are slow drying. So that is the property that makes these opaque pigment ink pads really unique and gives you the ability to create all of those different techniques. Now, we're going to go back over to Debbie in just a moment for uh, some more of the fabulous techniques uh, with our opaque pigment ink pads. But we're going to have to do a vote first, though, Debbie, aren't we? We've got we a couple to choose indeed. from. We are indeed, yes. And I just realised, because of the time, and by the time I get my technique under the way, um, it's going it's to head towards the end of the show. Now then, I've got to try and remember. So we did the, we did the green one, didn't we, in the craft along? Yeah. Um, these are the two that I've just done. This was me, one that was... Ah, there we go. Right, I've got, I've got them. I've got Ooh. them. Are we ready to do a vote? And we're not doing a vote of the show because obviously the craft along project is that show. Mm -hmm. um, it's the trio that we're picking. It's the vote of the day mm -hmm. for you. So are we choosing number one? God, it feels like a lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. uh, with our bold boot... <laughs> bold butterflies. That's the Oh, darling, <laughs> butterflies. It's not just a butterfly, darling, it's a boot fly. It's a very posh butterfly. 
<laughs> the bold butterfly oh, using our aqua, our tricolor aqua fence yes. this morning. Number one. Oh. Number two was, of course, our, well, I had to rejig this one, our cross yeah. along project using die cutting. Um, so that is number two. And then number three is, of course, and we're going to, shall we do these as a twofer? Yeah, yeah, let's do them as a twofer. They're both going to go in the vote uh, for number three. So number three would be um, our water reactive inks alongside our gold shimmer ink pad. You've just mm -hmm. seen us create both of those. So that's three. That's two. Mm -hmm. Or that's one. You decide. Ooh, it's a tough vote. It's really tough vote. Uh, do you know what? I'm glad I'm not voting. Because I cannot tell you a favourite today. I've loved mm. every project that I've done. It's going to be a tough one. You guys at home, it's down to you. Completely your choice as to what you're going to vote for demo of the day. And like me and Debbie say, honestly, I'm glad I'm not sat at home voting. I don't know which one I'd choose, to be perfectly honest with you. They are all absolutely gorgeous. And it's fabulous to see all those different techniques from your die cutting to your ink pads to your pens as well. Debbie has shared with us so much inspiration throughout the course of today with these three fantastic craft longs. But... I think it's time to get into a few more techniques. We've got just 15 minutes left on this last show of Thursday here uh, on Crafters TV. I know Debbie wants to squeeze in a few more techniques that are all focused around our fantastic pigment ink pads. So Debbie, I know she's just sorting out her ink pads. She will be with us in just I'm a moment. So sorry. I've right? not got my rocker block in Oh dear. I apologise. I'm uh -oh. like, oh yeah, I'm all ready. And then I'm like, I haven't got my rocker block. I haven't got my inks out. Um, and I'll just do a very couple of techniques because this was the third card we were going to do. Uh -huh. um, however, we're not going to get that completed mm -hmm. in 15 minutes. We're not. No. It's just impossible. Um, but I'll show you a couple of the techniques on how I created that. Okay. Um, and this is our opaque pigment ink pads. Now, these are perfect for blending. Mm -hmm. You can layer with them because of the opacity. You've got that beautiful layer down of colours. Have you noticed we haven't lost any of those gorgeous colours in there? No, not at all. That lemon tonic, that fuchsia, that orange. Uh, the red, the Chinese mm. red, all lined on top of each other, look beautiful. And then the strip in the middle, can you see, has mm -hmm. been heat Ooh, embossed. Wow! Look yeah. At that. So these are a fantastic, uh, absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Can't stop, Debbie. Shove it back. Stop. Does help? Do we do need a surface, but you know, <laughs> I know you're good, Debbie. But I think even you would struggle to make that work. Love it, Eh? I'm just going to apologise right now. I know today I have been a little bit of a ditzy Debbie. Oh, okay. I am. I've been a ditzy Debbie all day today. Um, I will only make apologies because I'm not, not well. <coughs> I'm not normally like this, Lily, am I? No. No, of course I'm not. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, but I have been today, so apologies. Right, let me show you with some stamps how you can layer up. Now, I adore these. I remember these stamps as well. This is a while ago. Mm, yeah. Do you know what? I actually think these might have come out when the... Um, they might be the ones, Lily, that came out when we launched these. You might be right, actually. Do you know what I'm trying to mm. think now? Because we had some supporting um, ink pads. Um, we did. Supporting stamps with the ink pads. Now, I will tell you, mm -hmm. Debbie Fisher... Yeah. would tell you in a heartbeat these are her favorite go-to stamps every single time mm. because they blend beautifully you can stamp with them they still react with water and mm. um, they do lots of things and of course you can heat emboss with them as well Ooh. now i'm being random with my flower uh -huh. and i'm just going to pop my flower down um, mm -hmm. around a little bit of the cardstock using mm -hmm. a rocker block and we'll just come in with a nice little faint one there yeah i'm just going to dab a little bit off mm. it's funny you talk about debbie fisher loving these ink pads i was uh, on the other side uh, a few weeks ago this was now debbie was a uh, craft expert and i was uh, presenting and after watching debbie all day using opaque pigment ink pads i have to say i've been using mine an awful lot more than i did before since uh, because she inspired me so much with these fantastic ink pads they are amazing i mean look at that there look at the vibrancy of the, the colors vi exactly that is it the vibrancy that you get they are absolutely beautiful they're still water reactive i know mm -hmm. that sounds bizarre but they are still water reactive. Now, the difference that you're getting with this is, of course, the sponge, same layout, same colour that you would find in that um, orange family, whether it be water reactive, whether it be a quick dry. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it's the opacity that you get with these it doesn't dry quick so it's a super slow dry time which means you can add things like your um heat embossing to it as well mm -hmm. i'm just going to tap a couple of more of those flowers out and then i'm just going to get rid of the ink now i normally spritz that and clean it but we haven't got time so mm -hmm. i'm just going to be very fast and these are my ink pads from home so i'm not worrying too much let's pop down some of that beautiful pink uh -huh. and again absolutely love these when you're using a rocker block make sure that uh, you've got a look lining color over color mm. absolutely sensational and i'll show you in a second when i lay the red over the top of those this is just creating a little background piece mm -hmm. let's and I know take the other stamp they're obviously flowers but they're in those colorways they could be fireworks couldn't they yeah could be bonfire night could be new years as well could it be any sort of celebration love those colors look amazing absolutely gorgeous they really really are but look how that color and i know i'm being speedy with this but look how <laughs> debbie oh, whoa nearly calm yourself down girl calm yourself down um you can see just how that layering works beautifully now i know how quick dry do that as well because mm -hmm. you can use those but these are very i think this is why debbie loves them you know because they're so versatile mm -hmm. yeah. they're not like a one trick pony ink pad Absolutely not. they do so much and again in a second you're going to see me blend with them and then i'm just going to run a little bit of heat emboss over the top so let's just pop that on there mm -hmm. now I'm going to come in leave that to dry because that will take a little bit of time to dry yeah. and when you lift it you can see wetness to it mm -hmm. because it's slow drying it's not a speedy dry this one still reacts with water you can still do those swooshing 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 whatever techniques you want to do mm -hmm. um but i'll tell you what i'll do i'm going to i'm going to make life eat how long was that dear me nine where nine did minutes. the time go lily yeah where Flying did by. the time Go. Exactly. And uh, you know, I can hear the guy, they're getting very excited, those mm, guys out there. Are. It must be Christina's cooking, that's mm -hmm. all I'm going to say, because she's catering tonight, and ah, it's not yeah. normal for our Christina to be in this late. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Just I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Just while uh, Debbie's quickly mopping up, we have had a question from Lynn, and she's asking what colours are in the pigment ink pad collection. So I'm going to quickly go through those. Lynn, you are getting first up, so you're getting seven different colours. You're getting your Bordeaux. You are getting your Lemon Tonic. You are getting your Twilight Grey. Then you've got your Pink Tulip. Then it's your Ocean Blue. Your Damson Wine is your next one. And then finally, you have got your Parakeet. So seven different ink pads in total. All of those colours, Damson Wine, Parakeet, Lemon Tonic, Bordeaux, Twilight Grey, Ocean Blue and Pink Tulip. All seven of those as part of that amazing Pigment Ink Pad 7 Ink Pad Collection. I'm just, I'm literally, I'm, I'm, it's almost like I'm speedy, speedy doing this bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab, um, and I'm just going to do it with, probably do it with, well, actually no, I'll show you the blending ability because okay. I think that's important to show you. So I'll use lemon tonic and I'll use the orange. Mm -hmm. I've just put a little strip of um, colour down, uh, of, of tape down to just differentiate between the white to the, um, to this colour. Uh -huh. I love these because the blend that you get with these is utterly beautiful mm. um and i'm gonna come in at what <laughs> can you hear them lily <laughs> yeah they're saying in our ears we need to apologize for noise i'm not sure if you guys at home can hear they are having a little bit of a celebration outside so it is it's a little bit noisy so apologies if you can hear that uh, at home um we do have the studio door <laughs> shut but you might be able to hear it you guys watching so I apologies love it. i'm gonna tell you i absolutely yeah. love, it, love it because it's so nice to have um a buzz around the place mm. at this time of night we're not used to it lily absolutely this time not. Of night, it's like deathly quiet outside mm. now it stays wet oh debbie you didn't want to do oh. that what did i tell you i am such a heavy handed person oh. i can tell you right now pull it towards yourself it is it's our tape it can be quite um high tack uh, so whenever you're using it just pull it towards you you can see my little strip there but you know what that's where our butterflies go and it's fine. well there's <laughs> butterflies but you know also mm -hmm. scissors yeah cut it off there we go nobody no knows any different know, apart from a little faux pas there it's fine. however i'm going to grab a sheet of cardstock underneath because i am conscious of the time uh -huh. now what we'll do is we'll sprinkle the clear embossing powder yeah. over the top and tap that off mm -hmm. now i always make sure that the side because um with anything if you're using heat embossing anti-static bag 
yep. over your cardstock and that will stop any of that from happening. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to grab my heat tool yep. because you can see that the heat, in, uh, sorry, the heat, sorry, the embossing, embossing powder. powder has stuck to the ink. Yep. And then all we're going to do, and I'm going to hold that down because I know um, our heat tool will blow that away, mm -hmm. um, it sets over the top. So when you want to stamp something, and that's what I've done with my uh, finished card, which I'll run through with you in a second, um, it looks mm. just absolutely fabulous it's when it cool, goes across it? and sets into there. Now the first layer you will get will look like orange peel. Okay. It will. But there's a way around it. It's called double embossing, yeah. triple embossing. The only thing you need to remember, so if I just let that go and let that dry, it will dry and it won't become sticky. Okay. So the heat is the important part because that is the orange peel effect. I'm just going to hold that there, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Perfect shot. Amazing. Orange peel effect. Yep. Keep it hot. Uh -huh. If you keep it hot, and I'll just do this side, I'll leave the other side, just because time is literally flying by again. It is, isn't it? But keep it hot, sprinkle over the top yet again. Mm -hmm. And I'm only doing it on that side because I've only done it um, on that side. Okay. You can see it sticks again. And all you're going to do is pop your heat tool over the top. Uh -huh. Now that's a double emboss, still a bit orange peely. However, Keep dunking. I'm going to go in part actually. Let me go straight oh, okay. directly into part. Oh wow, look at this. Let's go into there. Sorry, mm -hmm. Julia, because I can see Julia's coming in and I'm like, I'm just Julia, begging. Julia, right, Julia wants to watch. You. I think she's inspired. Yeah. Love this technique. But it is literally, it takes it from an orange peel effect to like a glass like effect. Uh -huh. And it's worth doing it. So I'm just going to show you for a second. Can you see? Oh, wow. Super, super in only. Oh, a bit more wow. of an orange peely effect. Let's yeah. go in there. So can you see the oh, difference? Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I'm just going to let me angle that. Amazing. There. Perfect. So the more you do that, but you have to not, do not put ink back over the top. You don't mm -hmm. need to do that. It's just keeping it hot. It's keeping mm -hmm. it sticky. Uh, and that's all you need to remember. Now I'm going to wipe up really quickly because time has literally dragged away from us. Mm. But I'll just show you. Um, inky background, I took the middle stem and popped that in and heat embossed it. I did the strip across there and then I heat embossed my sentiment and then just did those flowers again. Looks absolutely fabulous. The beautiful ink pads. You can understand why Debbie loves them so much. We all do. We're mm -hmm. all big fans of them. Uh, I just want to say, I hope you've enjoyed today. I know it's been a little bit... <coughs> We'll just say if the, car, is it, the wheels came off the cart towards the Aww. end. Uh, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And I hope you've enjoyed the craft alongs all day today. Certainly been different for us. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it as well. I certainly have. That is for sure. Now, we do have a uh, result for demo of the day. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm, I nearly had as well. I saw the, saw the comments in. I thought, why, why am I being sent a number here? And then I remembered we had the vote to still do. So, demo of the day. Apparently, it was so close. But demo of the day. Mm, is going to number one. Oh, my little butterflies. Yes. Thank you very much. I was hoping to take that home, but hey ho. Um, there we go, number one. Thank you very much, and I do appreciate your votes. It's very kind. Absolutely gorgeous product. I don't know how you guys at home decided. I can see why it was close because three, well, I say three, kind of like four absolutely incredible projects uh, throughout the course of today. Debbie, I have had an absolute blast. Thank you. It's Thank been you very fabulous. much. Yes, I shall be back up. Next week, sometime. Lovely. Yes. I'll we... see you in February. Yes. Well, actually, am I in February, Lily? It's February next week, isn't it? It is on Thursday, I Thursday. think. Thursday, yeah. Am I here Thursday or Friday? I think I'm here. I'm Friday. here Friday. You are. We've been talking mm. to Dean in the breaks. I'm here on Friday. Um, it's a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the, meat, the, the bread to Sarah's filling. Uh -huh. There we go. There I'm you at are. the wake up call. I'm at the last show with Sarah in the middle because there's a big launch next week towards mm -hmm. the end of there um, and I'm looking forward to it but I'm not telling you what it is so don't mm -hmm. ask. Yeah, we will find out very soon in due course, just eight days to go before that fantastic launch. Thank you so much, Debbie, for your inspiration. I'm feeling super inspired myself. I hope you guys at home are feeling exactly the same. Maybe you're going to be recreating some of Debbie's craft longs at a later date. Maybe you're going to be inspired to be adding some of those new ink pads to your crafty stash however you're choosing to craft, whether you're going to be recreating those projects exactly, we would love to see all of your fantastic uh, inspiration, all of your mates shared over on our Facebook pages. We always love to see what you've been making. Now, I just want to sneak in before the end of the show just to remind you, tomorrow's actually the last day of our January sale.
So you've not got very much longer to take advantage of those incredible bargains. There's things that's literally as low as a couple of pounds per item. So incredible savings. You're saving up to 70% as part of that January sale, but just over 24 hours left to go on that because it's ending at midnight tomorrow night. So a chance to grab a bargain while you still can. Now, I will be back tomorrow morning, actually. I'll be doing the 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. shows. 11 a.m., we've got a wake-up call with myself and Ben. And then 3 o'clock, just an hour craft along me on my own, but I'm very much looking forward to it because it's all about that incredible card layout collection. We're going to be creating, very much like Debbie did for that middle show today, actually, a scrapbook page using that amazing layout collection with some other items that you might already have in your crafty stash. And then, wow, it's going to be a big show, 5 till 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Ben and Sarah, we've got a big three-hour cart load. So if you want bar, Bargains, blimey me, bargains galore coming up on that one. Thank you for your company today. I really hope you can join myself and Ben and Sarah tomorrow for lots more inspiration and some absolutely unmissable deals. Take care. Bye-bye.